I love hearing the little intros of everybody coming in. It's so nice. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, social journey. Hello, everybody. Hello. Susan? Yes. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Who's on our thing tonight? Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. We were having our meeting on the Sunday papers. And we just had to finish a thought before we could get any further. Okay. So. Um. Um. Um, hey. So we're we uh, we are leaning towards uh, using our timeshare uh, at uh, when we're at SciCon. Yeah. If we, we just have to figure out if uh, how the logistics of how how we can do it, uh, the, the how they allow us to do it. Where's your time? Maybe, maybe we'll invite everybody over for. Uh, where where, where is your be at the Steiners. Uh, a a liquor free uh, night out. Um, where, where Alan? Where is it? Um, it's uh, so uh, it's uh, what is it? It's at the damn it. Um, ah, this is this is the way I answer questions with uh, categories too. I can't remember anything. Um, uh, trivia question Where is your own timeshare? I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 because my father in law's thing, we're going to use the thing, but it's uh, uh, now the 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 thing is at the horseshoe, correct? Yeah, yeah. all right, where in the hell? Hang on, you know what. Uh, let me just see it's at the it's at the other end it's just it's one Ooh. block uh it's one block out of the uh, uh off the strip and and uh all right, these, these are let me just see if i can oh it's so it's it's a it's a westgate resort um it's the westgate casino and uh uh and um resort or resort and had, casino we had psychon there once right at what is, at the it's steiners Westgate. Uh, yeah Westgate. <laughs> so you're someone, at the end of the row someone said it at one time it was valleys and it's uh, uh, uh i don't know it's a great big white thing um but uh it looks like a real nice a real nice hotel um but uh and the, the timeshare that's in a hotel yeah, it's a timeshare. It's a well, Westgate resort. had a had a. It was a a giant. They had a lot of that stuff there. Yeah, you know, it's a bit. It's a big. It's a big building. Um, hey, Ron. It's the. Uh, what did I say it was? It's the. Um, uh, the Westgate uh, uh, Resort and and uh, Casino, right? Except there are five of them. I didn't know which one it was. Well, no, they said there's only there's only two. There's the Flamingo, but that's farther away. Yeah. But uh, but this this one is um, anyway. It's it's apparently it's uh, ten minutes from the from was it, you guys will be at Horseshoe. Yeah. All right. So the Westgate. I just googled this. I, I was pretty sure I was right. This used to be the Hilton uh, Hilton Hotel. This okay. this is where they had Star Trek: The Experience for ten years, and I went opening year and closing year, and it was amazing. And yes, we we had a Psycon there uh, after it had closed. All right. And it's it's uh, so the the suite that we're that we get apparently because uh, my sister in law was there a couple uh, before I think uh, we can sleep six people so it's you know so this way you know uh, my wife and I Ron uh, Ron and uh, 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 Ron and his wife and uh, Avi will be her in name is Diane by the way what her name is Diane what did I say you didn't. Oh well, there you go. She's um, gonna go. Is she coming? Yeah. Party at but your she, house. But she's gonna go. She's gonna attend the uh, the conference. Uh, uh, right. Debbie's uh, Debbie's not gonna attend the conference. So is uh, uh, is your daughter coming to this too? It, it's, <laughs> it's it's her plan to uh, to come when uh, when mom's there uh, when her mom's there. Okay, good. But. Uh, so we're just trying to figure the logistics because if we're gonna if we stay the a couple few days, which is what we were thinking, is staying a few days after, uh, you know, because we're trying to work it around breakfast on Monday morning, and uh, 
when does everybody get out of there? Does everybody generally leave later on Monday? We leave around, you know, right after breakfast. We always go to breakfast together. Yeah. But uh, so I'm, uh, yeah. anyway, that's so that's sort of the plan. Uh, right now, we just have to figure out the logistics of this thing. Okay, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm really excited. This is gonna be a blast. We're gonna have so much freaking fun. We need to show this to our titties. What are you talking about tonight or what? Uh, you mean Psycon? Yeah, yeah. It's, gonna be a blast. yeah. It, 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 it's supposed to be fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be extra fun. It's gonna be much more fun this year. I had a long conversation. I'm trying to talk her into it. Uh, Paula Serrano. She 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 may do it. She may do it this year. Well, we'll see. Maybe so. Um, Avi wanted to get there on the Wednesday. Wednesday, be there Wednesday night because there's some some woman who uh, who's who's uh, a, a, a a skeptoid who's in uh, who's in uh, lives in um, in uh, skeptoid what in Las Vegas and wants to have uh, people over like have like a. Uh, an evening so i don't and i don't that? know i don't know i don't i don't know what there's the name a party is. going on and nobody is in is, is brandy in inviting people and left us out is it brandy brandy lives there uh uh well so is gail we'll all have so a, gail, a wild yeah. time at gail's place we could just have roving parties from place to place i'm gonna get there on tuesday so yeah i think, yeah, I think we're coming in on tuesday too yeah, I haven't even booked anything yet, but I'm going to. I will. Oh, I will did have you get the email from um, CFI? What about him? What? Uh, what? Which email? Which email? Um, it was saying that that not to wait too long to book your hotel room. Oh, they right. they booked mine. Yeah. They've already booked mine. Oh, what booked mine. Said? Yeah, I mean, don't don't wait on your on your booking your hotel for sure. Everybody will be sleeping at the Steiners otherwise, and we'll have like ninety people there. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna. I, they booked my hotel. It's just yeah, you'll be you'll be fine until my wife gets there. <laughs> I don't have I don't have um like I'll be going in August up to Eugene in Seattle. I haven't even thought it, given it a thought of what days I'm going or anything like that. Or I don't I don't plan anything too far in advance as far as flights. I don't care. I'll drive if I had to. By the so, way, I, I was told Carl isn't going to be here. I know everybody's sitting what? down. Carl's not coming. He doesn't feel good. He was out in the sun photographing. Wow. He doesn't. Wow. Miss Has he ever missed one of these? I, I think he's know. missed two. Wow. And not. Oh, and I think they were both psychon related. <laughs> now I got. Yeah. All right. Hey, is his last name Fisher? Nope. This is being recorded. We're not going to say. No, his name is not Fisher. It starts with a G. Gisher? No. <laughs> okay, well, because... You saw no, him on and, 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 Did you see him on America's Most Wanted? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, you there was something... You see that episode, something did you? Posted. There was something posted. Oh, I think he got together with Ben or something like that. And he there was some reference to the Fishers. So I I, I I I so I was just trying to put things together. No, it's right. it's a German name that starts with a G, and I I've heard it many times, but I don't I don't I couldn't but, say it off the top of my head right now. Ger, Gerschel, Gesundheit. It's it's it's, <laughs> it's it's not Gerbic, is it? No, it's not Gerbic. It's like it's it's right. German. It's Gerschelbug or something. I don't know. I I I can't even. I'm embarrassing myself to to um to say, try to say it but i've heard Sh it many Shickle times Gruber. he's a real Goring. he's a real human being i've been to his house i've met his sister i've been to his parents house just the outside of it we were looking at something the uh, pond he's he has a koi pond he's building for his parents his parents live almost across the street so i mean he's he's a real human being i didn't go look in the basement see if anybody's dead bodies well his basement's where he usually sits that's best because then you become an accomplice if you cover it up. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. He's a real guy. He's well. I guess he's a real guy. I mean, he's like not wanted for the. This is weird. 
He's not wanted or anything. Who is this person that you're talking about? Carl. Carl with a K. Kyle. 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 Carl. Kyle. Carl with a K. Everybody here has met. Well, most of us here have met him many times. I meet him every Thursday. Yeah, he really exists. Yeah. And Ron, you're going to go first with the bonus, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, are Adrian or Vincent or or Cat going to be here this week? Cat's Cat's third. Yeah, Cat will be here. You're talking about Canadians, huh? Yeah, I I, I need a plethora of Canadians for this to work really well. I will okay. try to put a Canadian on each team now that you've told me that. There's a lot yes. of people who want to move to Canada right now. So. No, there's that too, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go. I, I'm holding out. We can do this. Everything's going to be okay. Rob, put your put your sign back up on the back of the screen. Everything's I'm, going to be okay. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm going to go around eight or so because I have to go outside and close everything down because i don't trust my neighbors and i don't want my house to catch on fire that, that's that's enough for, that would be enough for you to just hose it wow i i i, I have it's horrible right area. now i'm hearing explosions Carolyn and I live in, like i'm in a war zone oh and, well we're having a major storm on our half of new jersey right now so not a whole lot of fireworks going on ooh, anymore i every year i pray for pray for a torrential rain and oh yeah we're getting torrential rain and for it two hours work, so does it, rob what? Well, we, it doesn't work got, we have communities all around us. So like last night next door, they had a uh, like the community right next just down the street. They had their fireworks last night. Uh, our, our, we're having ours tonight. I don't care about communities doing it. They usually say these are idiots in the woods doing it. Well, yeah, that's the problem we have because um, we live near the vineyards and stuff and they're shooting off the illegal ones. Not the safe yep. and sane ones, which you. those yep. should be banned too, especially when you're living in a tender box that can go. But yeah. um, <laughs> the ones that you shoot up, yeah. it's. Yeah. Uh, I run, I run, Ron, if, if Ron would remember, we we used to we got together with our families in Toronto. We got together with a family, and we were going to put out, you know, send. Uh, we were just kids. We were going to send out the Goldbergs, huh? The one at the Goldbergs? At the Goldbergs, yeah. And yeah. Uh, and uh, they had two big boxes of all the, the cool fireworks and stuff. And they set one off and it, the damn thing went into the next box and the whole the whole thing just exploded. Oh. It, was, it was short it was spectacular. but spectacular. It, yeah, it was spectacular. <laughs> Rob, why did you send that thing in the URL in the Star Trek experience in the chat? I don't understand. Was that something? That was the location. That that was at the West Gate, which was the Hilton at the time. I oh, actually oh, I oh. actually have a shirt I got at the time in Vegas that has a, a, a rendering of the strip and all the major hotels on it. And at the very end, you can see the West Gate with the Starfleet logo on it, because that's what they had at the time. It was big enough you could see it from halfway down the freaking strip. It it was a big deal when they did the Star Trek the experience. They changed their casino to the casino of the future um it, it was a big deal every every cab that was driving around vegas had a big giant sign on it star trek this time it's real it, it was a big deal in the star trek world yeah. this time it's real i yeah. guess i did it once because i can see i i have some photos of me with a um a ferengi and yeah a, a you did yeah, yeah, and yeah. man they stayed in character oh man we, we actually did a backstage tour the second time we went those people did their own makeup it's unbelievable they were as good as like, you know, a, a movie ready. And they took hours and hours and hours to do that. Klingons, Ferengi. They were really and, into it. This is I just fans who were... Uh... Yeah, I never saw that at Tampa. No, the, the, these, that. Were, these were people who wanted to be actors. And since they're so close to LA and they didn't have a job, they did this and they got paid to do it. We saw we saw people dressed up in Star Trek costumes at Dragon Con. Remember, Susan? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they really get into it at Dragon Con. God. Mm -hmm. Hey, how did, yeah, I, remember, how did I, I remember at one con uh uh let's see there's a woman who uh who uh cosplayed as uh seven of nine mm -hmm. fortunately well, she, she had the body for character. it oh she had the she did or didn't she did have the body for it oh well then that's why she did it yeah yeah, yeah. that'll be right okay so mm -hmm. hi peggy hi mark hey peggy hi. how did you get hi, Vincent, Kevin's dog? Cindy. How did uh, I get I'm, what? 
How did Peggy get Kevin's dog? I don't, I don't have Kevin's dog. Understood. Whose dog was that your dog? Who had the dog? Someone showed a dog. Yeah. So that's an old picture yeah. of my dog. Yeah. Well, I now, totally changing. You're totally changing the subject. Uh, before I did dog. the before I did the walk where I got got the picture behind me, I went to a little uh, tiny museum uh, um, in Field, the little town uh, uh, near the Burgess Shale, and they did uh, so. So I so I did get some pictures of the uh, of some of the fossils they showed there, <laughs> so I could. Show them uh, off. I want to see. Was that uh, was Biden there? <laughs> oh, oh <yeah. laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, look at oh, little trilobite. Yes. Okay, so there we've got. Um, oh, all right. Yeah. So uh, okay. So I guess I I, I guess I got some uh, reflection from the. Uh, me. Canada, Canada spits. Does Vincent have to go to the bathroom? Yeah. No, I'm having major issues with my computer. Um, uh, going are do, you raising uh, your hand? You, you oh, can't do that, right. Vincent. I, I need you for my category. I wasn't. No I will or try to be back. I'm just having major issues. I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to log off. Okay, as long as you can, really quick. I, I'll better. try to be back. I need you, to, Vincent. Come back. I'll try to be back. <laughs> no pressure. Try. Cat's coming in right now. Yeah, oh, good. I'll we'll try to be back. Anomalocaris there. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. And then, uh, and then here's the uh, here's the scenery of the area. It's uh, beautiful. Emerald Lake, and see, isn't that beautiful? Where is it? This is in. This is in uh, uh, British Columbia. Just uh, uh, go west from Calgary and once and, and and a little bit past the border between Alberta and British Columbia. So this oh, is so in, it's quite far east in BC. Yeah. So this is is yeah yeah you can't go go much farther east and uh, before in you British get into Alberta. Yeah, that's a big part. So I'm actually going to British Columbia next week. Really. Yeah, I well, I'm driving up there with my husband. Um, we're gonna start uh, driving up Saturday, but we're not going direct. We're gonna we're gonna go up to Bay Area Saturday, and then uh, Oregon on Sunday, um, Ashland, Oregon, then Corvallis, Oregon, then oh, Washington you're gonna be in Cor Corvallis. What do you, what's the reason for your trip? Um, well, it's a vacation. Um, you go see Janine. She's right there by Corvallis. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was go see her cabin. It's beautiful. Oh, uh, love her place. Nice. Yeah. Well, I had another friend in Corvallis, and I have a cousin in Bellingham, and then we're going to get to. Um, so Saturday we go as far as Berkeley. My mom's in Berkeley, and then we're going to spend a night in a hotel in Ashland, and then Corvallis these friends and then cousins in Bellingham and then Vancouver. And then after Vancouver, um, I don't have specific plans, but you know, British Columbia is huge and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to see and do. So how much time do you have to, to do all this? A couple of weeks. Oh yeah. If you can go see, go see Janine either on the way up or the way back. Yeah. That's a, that's a she, good idea. She would love to have you have you there they have a beautiful place it's it's uh it's in <laughs> it's next to corvallis it's in um it starts in m mon mon monmouth but we're monmouth. Oh, there's between Jeanine. corvallis and i'm just monmouth. volunteering you Jean, to host i know but we're a mess <laughs> right now <laughs> but her dad we're absolutely a mess i can't walk what what happened to you anything another three-legged dog i don't know um, I think it's two different things and it's too complicated. Nobody wants to hear. <laughs> I may have a pinched nerve um, going down my leg. So, cause I have numb, but I also think I have chin splints. So we'll put um, on a tiara like cat and you will be much better. 
<laughs> right? Good idea. Oh, yeah, that's a nice tiara. You look great. Thank you. Well, that is, that's a on. particularly pretty one. I don't have one as pretty, but she inspired me when I was out shopping. So I have <laughs> oh. kind of like Oh, I like that. Oh, oh, maybe to, like I need to, to get one before I enter Canada, huh? Oh, well, <laughs> where, where are you going, oh, looks from, like Celia? Celia? For one of those Caesar. Where are um, you? You're going to British Columbia from someplace? From Monterey. Oh, okay. In California. So. Carolyn, you look like somebody from that Star Trek episode, the, the original series where they had the people in the Roman, like they were the gods that had. The oh, Roman. yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, just it doesn't want to stand. But yes, I got this. It was it's kind of like um a Celtic thing because it's yeah, got the deer. It's very Celtic. And it's got the whole, yeah. It's got that so, fairy feel to it. Well, it looks yeah, a bit so like a, was... uh, it looks like some sort of wreath of uh, laurel leaves or maybe olive olive leaves for the sort of the sort of thing they that the in the original Olympics they put on the uh, winner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, it's the only clothes they wore. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm going to start making the rooms, and I want to. I'm going to put a Canadian on every team. <laughs> Apparently, oh, that's. Nice. A, I need to do that for for Rob's first category for the. He's going to start off with a bonus. So, um, we're doing the bonus first. Yeah, I know. That's it's upside weird. down day. Happy we, Fourth of the Americans, by the way. I know it's possible. <laughs> okay, so oh, I love plan. that thing you shared about the americans um cat with brian uh reynolds that was hilarious <laughs> i was sorry that was good sorry <laughs> wow well, fireworks ron peggy you know you're doing a category tonight right okay cool uh salia you're doing a category yeah. tonight yeah um cat you know you're doing a category tonight. Okay, I got a piece out of order. Susan, you are gonna love my category. Oh god. And I hope everybody so. else is gonna hate my category. Yes. Yes, your oh, team no, is that, gonna that's, excel. That's that's Susan's favorite comedy. That's the kind right? Susan likes best. Yes. Yeah. Well, last week she wanted hard stuff. So mine's hard, but it's funny because it's me. I think mine's gonna be hard. I can't even imagine what you do. So Gail will be in room five. She's not there right now um okay let me make sure i've got my canadian spread out hold on a second i thought adrian was coming tonight no um she's been working on videos i assume she'd be here yeah she's been doing video editing you better ask her okay because i i might be short a canadian i'm i'm only <laughs> using my phone to text adrian i'm not cheating <laughs> oh nobody knows nobody cares um, all right Susan? Jamie, sure no problem uh -huh, Susan, I was once mistaken for a Canadian while in Pompeii. <laughs> Ooh, Does that count? I don't know if Ron's going to appreciate that. I've been mistaken for Canadian. So you, if that's just any ultra, help. Ultra polite. Was that the deal? Mm -hmm. No, actually, this person was rather pro Professor Higginish, higgins ish and he claimed it was my accent, the way I spoke English. Ooh, I, I've, huh. been told that, I've been told that too, Karen. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was... Um, he was saying, um, oh, you're, you know, whatever, whatever he was saying. And he said, ah, you're Canadian. And I said, no, I'm actually from the States. And he said, oh, then you must be from Central and Northern California. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Well, that's interesting. I know. They all talk like us, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jim is, okay. I, so I don't got... know what you're talking about. I don't see any resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent. Okay, here comes Vincent back again. I better, I better. This is harder than it looks. Did you ever see Michael Moore's movie Canadian Bacon? Yes. That is hilarious. At least I thought. I'm not Canadian, so I, I thought it was I hilarious. thought it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Okay. And and he has that little line there, but you know, this friction between the Americans that sneak into Canada and you know, rile things up. And uh and there's like the various little lines like, you know, where the Americans are saying to the Canadian, like, we have ways of making you pronounce your your O's. And <laughs> and then they're um and then they they have this anti-Canadian 
graffiti on their own car and they get pulled over by a Mountie because it's only in English, not French too. Yep. <laughs> Needs oh. to be bilingual. I just thought that was, that was just like so hilarious. And boy, that's uh, that 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 sounds kind of like the graffiti scene in uh, Life of Brian. Yes. Alan, you're you're going to be a Canadian tonight. I am. Alan, yeah, you're as close as we <laughs> got. If I'm, yeah, I'm not hearing back from Adrian, so okay. And Vincent's entering the room right now. I don't know what's going on with him, so yeah, I will put him. You have five. You have five. He's there. You got the Rona, there, Vincent. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I have to assign wrong. him. I will assign him to a room here in a second. Okay. So I have a Canadian. Oh, that's going to be a problem. So well, um, you have five I Canadians. I do not. You do. I have Alan. I have Cat. I have Jim. Ron. Yeah, but I don't count because it's Ron's my category. category. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Your category. And then uh, who's the fifth one? No, no, no. I I forgot. It's it's Ron's category. Yeah, but who's the fifth? Mark. Mark. Who's the fourth? Yes. I only named four, didn't I? Adrian Mark. could be a fifth, but she's not getting back. Okay, well, how I many teams do you have? How many teams do you have? Five. Okay, let's see. I've got Jim, Cat. Five teams every week. Alan. Adrian. So while we're naming our, our team, I give our, my team all the answers and that'll take care of it. Okay, that works. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to put Vince. Oh, and Vincent. So Vincent's the fourth. So I'm going to put Vincent on a team right now and I'm going to put who just entered? Me. Hmm. Gail. Gail, did. Gail, you're on five. Okay, great. Okay, so go. Five. No, I'm doing the category tonight. Yeah, but you're going to go in the fifth place because the bonus is going first. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. But yeah, so yes, you are doing a category, but you are going last, if that makes any sense at all. Now it does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me put... It's upside down oh. flip rubble bubble cake. So, <clears throat> yeah. So Vincent, you're going to... So go, I'm in room sink. You're going to go on to three, Vincent. Okay, I think I got this right. If not, I'm just going to pull you, rip you, and put you into another room. Let me plot it out and see if I got it right. Okay, I've just closed all rooms. Uh, I want to say happy, happy 4th of July, everybody who's watching this, all 10 of you. Um, just uh, this is just a great group of people they've it's this has been so much fun we're just over our fourth year and we've never missed a thursday and they just volunteer and it's just been a, it's just been a joy to meet these people for people who are watching this who, who haven't really come to one of these trivias before these are people who just showed up and that's half the battle sometimes it's just showing up it's a lot of fun it's not for everyone for a from what I understand, some people find uh, the argumentation and the the teasing a little bit too much, but we're all pretty much great friends with each other and we've been together for a lot of years. So it's all in good fun and um, I've never met a kinder bunch. So if you're watching and you don't get a chance to come to trivia or you would like to, you can come and join us. We we'd like to do these more often at different times, but I haven't I haven't gotten to Saturday or um, like I used to. But anyway, they should be coming back in a minute now. It's Fourth of July. I'm always interested in the category names they come up with. I have a feeling. Oops, I have a feeling that what they're going to come up with are Fourth of July trump rate related stuff so let's let's see if we're if we're right <laughs> oh my gosh these guys and i just realized i put the names in the wrong place here they come walking down the street get the funniest looks from every one they meet Hey, hey, we're the monkey. Hey, uh, there's two Canadians on our team, you know, Susan. Who's on your team? I, I, you, uh, Vincent and I are together. Oh, well, whatever. All right. Oh, well, I had to put him on your team because there was short people, but that's all right. 
And I'm not going to say that's an unfair advantage. A Canadian and a half, really. It's okay. My record, my record on things Canadian in these uh, in these um, categories over the last while has not been great. Anyway, it's, oh, that's fine. We'll be right. not be bad on this we'll manage. <laughs> okay, so we're in game two twenty two. Let's see what we got over here as far as category names. All right, so Cindy, Karen, Faith, Romero, and Ron. Oh. I forgot I need to type this in, but Stormy Daniels is welcome at my house anytime. I'll put it in chat. Stormy Daniels is welcome at my house anytime. Well, because there is a, a headline that says she is seeking a safe house because of Trump supporters harassing her oh. and shooting her horses. And yeah, that's she's doing that so well. Rachel will mad out that. Yeah, she did a talk on, uh, She, I did hear one of the things she did on Rachel Maddow. I haven't seen the, I didn't watch the whole interview. I've just kind of been tuned out of a lot of this lately because it's too much. She's so, been getting death threats, but she turns around and posts them, including the people's names. <laughs> well, good for her. Good. Yeah. yeah. She has funk. I but Probably the wrong thing to say about a porn star. I'm not going to touch that one myself. No, cat, just back off. Good for her. <laughs> All right, Bill, Janine. Bill, Janine, Peggy, and Jane. <clears throat> we are team thrombosis. And, you know, it's just, it's a team thing. Okay. Right. What, are you yes. passing out DVTs or something? Like, what's going on? We've all thrombosed, except for Janine, who is married to a thrombose victim. So oh. all are and part being of being tested oh. for and being tested for one that I don't have. She's convincing oh. herself she don't. Okay, okay so I know it's going to be us, Janine. <laughs> so Jamie, oh, wait, no, wait, Alan, Carolyn, Celia, and Vincent. Uh, let me open up chat. And um, paste. Forget the Supreme Court. Celia's fixated on the hurricane barrel. The hurricane barrel. Yeah. I had proposed that Hurricane was a brutal bastard, but the team rejected that name. Is um, barrel with two L's? B E R Y L L? I don't think just so. One, just one. I don't think so. Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> it's like a funny name, but it's it's been really really terrible. Um, you know, well it's an island English and... spelling of it. Well, so. it hit my husband's island, Grenada, and while we know that his family's okay, we have friends off on the smaller island of Caragou that belongs to Grenada that was hit even worse than the mainland of Grenada, and we are unable to reach them because nobody has internet or electricity yet. So um, the hurricane hit like a grenade something like that yeah and um um and we don't know what my mom my husband's farm is like that took him so many years to recover after uh ivan like 20 years ago <laughs> took him you know over a decade to to get the farm back in shape so it's just it's been very unsettling oh i bet yeah yeah it's just and and it's um you know it's a sign the bigger picture too about having that serious a hurt <laughs> this this early in the year that's never ever happened ignore that for the moment <laughs> that is a huge oops <laughs> yeah i'm like why is why is that in the chat ron it, it wasn't supposed to be but oh, sorry about that <laughs> what earlier i was talking to um i was talking to what's your name rob and he he said something and and, and it just typed it into the chat whatever it was he was saying so i uh, gotta be careful you guys all right jamie cat mark kevin kevin you will be on this team most people don't work on the fourth of july fireworks though oh. that's yeah. a nice pun that's a nice pun kale jim rob and wendy well uh we had it was a slow news week so we don't have a team name <laughs> nothing's happened since last thursday right nothing at all it's been quiet 
Mm -hmm. I wish. I wish it were quiet. Oh, I, I know. We've got quiet we've week. Got, we have had so many fireworks too. Okay, so here's so much what we got. bad news. Stormy Daniels is welcome at my house anytime versus team thrombosis thrombosis versus forget the Supreme Court. Celia is fixated on hurricane barrel versus most people don't work on the fourth of July. Fireworks though, versus slow news week. So we don't have a team. <laughs> All right. So we are on team. I mean, game 222, season five, July the 4th, 2024. Happy 4th of July for those Americans who celebrate and who did not storm the Capitol on the 6th. <laughs> uh, if you did storm the Capitol on the 6th of January, you are not allowed to play trivia with us. Just saying. Unless, of course, you, you've uh, re decided that you have seen the error of your ways and you would like to come back into the, the critical thinking fold again. But, all right. Let you do they let you play uh, trivia in prison? I bet they play trivia in prison. I bet they do. I am going to need help with trivia coming up here really soon. So I it, maybe I will be reaching out to people because I will be making a trivia of short trivia that can be done in an hour somehow for CFI. So I'm going to probably copy <laughs> some old categories and do five categories or so, five questions per category. Something because I don't know. I'm going to do it in an hour. That's crazy. So you guys know what you're doing, and we still take forever. All right, so here we go. Um, we have up. Well, I, I I did make up some elementary questions a, a, a while back. Elementary? <laughs> yes. So we're starting out with Ron, who's going to do the bonus. I know it's 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 backwards to have the bonus first, but that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to follow up with that with Peggy, then Celia, then And then, Kat, and then Gail. Okay, that's what it was. All right. So I better make sure I have everybody's got their powers. Ron, you have your powers right now, right? Kat, you uh, have your powers. Celia, you should have your powers. I yep. think so. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Gail, do you have your powers? And Peggy. Yeah, so everybody who's got a category tonight should have their powers already. Your special powers. <laughs> And I'm ready, Ron, if you're ready. It does not look like I do since I don't have uh, breakout rooms. Okay, let me give it to you. Yep, you're I right. I don't think I do either. I don't okay. think I have breakout rooms. I do. Okay. Let's so you the man, Ron. Them. Peggy there you them. go. Oh, now they're there. There's now Kat. Have. Oh, I thought I'd give them to you. Okay, I apologize. Do. Abase yourself. I'll do the Canadian <laughs> thing and apologize. Sorry. Oh, and Carl is not here tonight because he's over photographed himself to too much photographing in the sun i think i think adrian says she's going to be joining us soon caspian i think and jamie are doing are getting ready to go to la and adrian has hurt her back so she's going to try and join us in a bit okay. but she can't sit for too long because then it hurts right. just tell her she doesn't have to hold up the, she doesn't have to hold up the laptop she just has to sit there <laughs> And Carolyn and, and the Kat have their problem. tiaras on, so I think we're okay. Everything will be all right now. We're bal I feel so, balanced. Keep calm and accessorize. That's it. I almost didn't join tonight because today I found out I have COVID. Oh, oh no. no. How did you get then? Yeah, you're going to feel like crap for a few days. Come no, on. I've, been, I've been sick for the last month. Ooh. Oh. Was it long COVID? I I hope not. Have you had it before? Yes. yes. Mm. Well, Vincent, <laughs> at least you are on Zoom and you can enjoy yourself for a few hours. I'll try. You know how you know how it is being able to. I can't even imagine having <laughs> no outlet. Come on, I'm not laughing at you, Vincent. I'm laughing at you, Kevin. Yeah, Vincent, there. How are you, Vincent? Oh, Kevin! Mask. Wow, look at those glasses. Where do you get those? Can you see out of it? Timu. Ah, they work? Faith, how are you, Faith? No, they don't work. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they work. I, I'm much better <laughs> thanks to a lot of antibiotics. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Well, so, you got COVID too, Faith? 
No, Kevin, I you... had I had a diverticulitis flare last Thursday. Oh, oh, gosh. I was I was admitted into the hospital and I see a surgeon on Monday to figure it like oh, I get the endoscopy. Yeah, no alcohol and high sugary stuff because I think those two are my triggers. So. Yep. Oh, probably. Boy. Yeah. And then Kevin, we've been you... dealing with a cat that doesn't want to eat because people are setting off illegal fireworks. So yes. Would, would you be okay if they were if they were legal fireworks? They're illegal because mm. in the state of North Carolina you cannot have anything that shoots off the ground. Well, yeah. that's it. We we've had people using basically down our cul-de-sac just this whole yeah. stack. fireworks because they shoot from out the ground, but however, guns. Yeah, yeah. Shoot in yeah. North Carolina, it should be fine. But but you can just drive like a hundred miles south to South Carolina, across the border, grab what you want, and come back. So that's what's happening right. in our area. We are up really to the guns yeah. too. Yeah, same with the guns. All right, go ahead, Ron. Okay, so I want to thank uh, Susan for allowing me to mess up everything by putting the bonus category at the beginning here, but I figure it's. Primarily geared towards Canadians, and it seems that our Canadian contingent here seemed to have a half-life of about two and a half rounds. So <laughs> I wanted to get it done first. <clears throat> um, so anyways, the category, as you got a preview to earlier, is that great Canadian category of PMS. Yeah. Which, How is that a category? How is that Canadian? <laughs> because it means prime ministers. Oh, oh. of canada they're prime ministers all over the world you know yeah i know so these are prime ministers of canada and there have been 23 unique prime ministers of canada since 1867's confederation 22 men unique? one woman what is what does unique mean you're a prime minister unique, you're not a prime minister no because some of the prime ministers were in two or three times oh Oh, so, so these are, they would only count as one. Okay. So anyways, however, I moved away from Canada in 1981. So I really don't care about any prime minister who came, who was, who came into power since then. So we are only going to be looking at Canadian prime ministers from 1867 until 1981. They have to have been prime minister during that period. It That's going to narrow it down to 16 unique Oh, thank you. It wasn't hard enough. I know. Well, wow. This is mainly because of all the Canadians here. This would have been a piece of cake. This is just zero time. It, is, is, the third, <laughs> is the third caveat they had to be born on a Thursday? Uh, yeah, that one. Getting to and that left, one. Give me a moment. Left -handed. Final rules. <laughs> and, and most important, this means if you know the only Canadian Prime Minister okay. most of you know is Justin Trudeau. He doesn't count. Uh, ah, because... the only one I know. There yep. we go. Now it's a zero. So you can forget him. So of the remaining 16 unique uh, prime Minister is all men now. So if you know the one woman, uh, it doesn't matter. I was just going to say out. the one woman was after 1981 because I actually remember her. Yep. Yes, Kim Campbell. She was the answer to a question from an earlier trivia. And this thing. is model rules, right? <laughs> um, well, I don't know. We, we, uh, do you want to go model rules? No, I didn't no, 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 think so. So you wasn't need as many she, as you can get. Wasn't she the one that was in office so short that when she left, she said, I'm glad I didn't sell my car? Yes, that was her. <laughs> Yep. That's what I remember. Well, this is going to have a little pressure on the Canadians who say they don't get enough attention. So. Uh, we're not going to have any pressure because at this rate, we're never going to get to it. Well, yeah, we are on, now yeah. because I'm about to send everybody. Hey, Ron, uh, Ron, Ron, you didn't type, you didn't put in the chat the other rules, which I wasn't writing down. So, what were the other rules about the? Oh date? no, that that's basically it. They have to have been prime minister between 1867 and 1981. That's the only rule. Sixty-seven. I didn't know you were around that long. Oh, uh, oh, oh. We're, yep. you're, you're not. You're not giving what? Who was the prime minister who did X or was between? Nope. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Okay. As long as they were a prime minister during that period, they count. Oh, wait a second. We have to. We have. Are you giving us a list to choose from? No. no. You got to pick ten of the ten of the sixteen. Okay. Pass our rooms. All right. So, okay, Don't give us long. It won't take long to come up. It won't with take one. long. Huh? Call us back in five minutes. <laughs> I think we have it now. I think we're done. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay, Kevin. I'm in room four. Thank you. Okay. Trudeau's dap. Hello, Trudeau's team. Dap. I'm here to watch. Oh, 
who's our Canadian? You there's are. No Can there's no Canadian. It's you. Karen, so I didn't, Ron didn't think this through. I know two. Okay, Karen's the Canadian. Trudeau's dad, I think, was also. Oh, Miss yeah, was he during before nineteen eighty? Trudeau. So yeah, Trudeau is one answer, yeah. and then the other is. It came up when we were talking about peaks or rivers or something, and it's Lawrence or Laurence, something like this, like a French. It's L A U R, something. We can pick bell? Canadian Canadian last names. Did, does that ring a bell? It's a place. I think, where, so. I, I think so. Yeah, we were talking about rivers or the biggest rivers or waterfalls or forests or something like that. Anybody else remember? I don't. I, but then again, I don't even know what categories we did last week. <laughs> Let alone the answers to the questions. Uh, 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 so Trudeau, uh, um, Pierre Senior. Trudeau, Trudeau, Pierre, Trudeau. Pierre Trudeau, Pierre Trudeau, and Laurence. L a u r e n t z maybe t s. Who's writing these down? Him. I, I got those two written down. Okay. Well, you're 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 the scribe for it this round. What about just common names in uh, French common names like Parker? Spanish. Parker. 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 Oh, oh yeah, and Prime Minister Parker. Prime John, Minister, Minister Smith. John Willis. John Willis. John Willis. Is that you're a... talking about Prime Willis. Minister. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Prime Minister Lincoln. Abraham Johnson. Thurdo. Thurdo. Johnson. Johnson, Prime Minister. I think that's one. Uh, it's a common French last name. Pierre. Oh, uh, uh, here's uh, the first name. Um, Bordeaux. 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 Okay, Bordeaux. 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 Romain Bordeaux. Who's Romain Bordeaux? The winner of the first stage. Sounds makes me hungry. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, Prime Minister um, Duckfoot. Duck. Well, Duckworth. Duck. Duckworth. Duckworth is like a Native American. Julian La Philippe. Ooh, La Philippe. La Philippe. La Philippe. Seriously. La Philippe. La Philippe. Okay. Uh, what about um? Uh, what do you call that thing that you put gravy and cheese curds oh, on? Poutine. Fries? Poutine. Oh, poutine. Oh, oh, hey, we forgot the the Royal Canadian Mounties. What are those guys' names? Poutine. Okay, so um, we, we can change who had the who put the women on the um who rescued um, women on the yeah yeah he was uh, what was his name. Snidely do right. What was no, Dudley, Dudley do right? Dudley do right. right. Prime Minister. Oh, Prime Minister do right. Okay. Uh, Nappy Bonaparte. Okay. Bonaparte. Okay. So we have, that's 12. So we have to decide which to get rid of. Get rid we, of Bonaparte. We uh, have uh, Pierre Trudeau, uh, Laurence, Parker, Willis, Lincoln, John. No, take Lincoln. Lincoln off. Take, take Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln off. off. I wasn't being serious. I wasn't being serious. Take off Lincoln? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um, of uh, uh, Pierre Trudeau, Laurence, uh, Parker, Willis, Bord Bonaparte, Johnson, Bordeaux, Duckfoot, La Philippe, Poutine, and Do Right. So <laughs> it sounds awful. Duckfoot sounds awful. <laughs> take off Duckfoot. Okay, take off Duckfoot. Okay. Duck and we got 10. Okay, so now we have Pierre Trudeau, Laurence. Maybe there's no S on the end. Laurence. Parker, Willis, Bonaparte, Johnson, <laughs> Bordeaux, La Philippe, no, uh, Poutine, Poutine and Do Right. Okay. <laughs> so make sure Do Right you put Dudley. Dudley Do Right. Prime Minister Do Right. Dudley. There, we got oh, it, man. I think we got it. Yeah. Probably Ten, eight, easy. Eight or nine, yeah. <laughs> Oh, good thing we don't have to spell them correctly. Well, that was fun. I just put Prime Minister Terrence and Philip, but why Terrence? 
Terrence and Philip are the Canadians. From South Park. South Park. Mm -hmm. The Canadians. Mm -hmm. Okay, close the room, Susan. Oh, you don't, you don't close yeah. the rooms. Yeah. You leave it up to the host. Oh, thing. my God. Let's see what's going on over here. So how's everything going? Karen, can you hear those? Uh, are, are you hearing the booms? Yes. I mean, it sounds like it's like next door to me. Yeah. And the people right behind me set off in the 80s. I have yeah. this to look forward to when it gets dark. Quarter sticks of dynamite they set off. Yeah. Those Trumpers. Oh. The Trumpers behind me. You sure they're Trumpers? Hell yes. I'm, like, I'm hearing, I'm so hearing it too. Where you guys are. Last night they were so loud. And then in the middle of the day, here comes Deborah. In the middle of the day, I was, I was, um, uh, in the, in the garden and somebody set off an M80, like at two in the afternoon. And it was like, it felt like a, a house away. We Wait, found the, the case, the burnt, uh, container of something. In our back patio one year. It's like, Jesus Christ, you guys. Okay, I'm going to go to the front because Deborah's here and I don't want to put her on a team. I'm going to wait and see. So I'm going to go to the main room. If you guys want okay. to join me, that's where I'm going. Hey, we're about to close the rooms, I think. So I'm, I just came oh, out yeah. to say hi to you. Look at I stay here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Because you won't like this category anyway. It's it's a bonus category we're doing early. Oh, that's right. Well, it's Prime Ministers of Canada. Who? Prime Ministers of Canada. Name ten. Prime Ministers of Canada. Oh, yeah. I like and, I know and, almost. And it's I think only, I can name I can name one. <laughs> it has to be from nine eighteen sixty seven to nineteen eighty one. So the no. one that you know is not going to count. I guess not. Trudeau yeah. wasn't in there then? We think his father was. Karen Karen came up with his father and another one. The rest of us are just standing there staring at each other like like <laughs> looking at each other like uh, <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> How's it going over there? Oh, that's nice. Is it was it warm at your house today? It's very warm. But well, I mean for Salinas, it was very warm, but for yeah. warmth, it was probably hit nothing much. I mean, yeah. I, I saw Karen today in Monterey because oh, was she there? The, yeah, we had Fourth of July parade. Oh, that's right. It hit seventy nine today. Yeah, it was eighty three in Monterey. I think when that's we were there. Crazy. I know. I, I guess that's at least that's what my car said when I got back to it afterwards. Hmm. Karen said she's going to the Magic Castle again. She's going on Monday, and and yeah. uh, Jamie and Caspian are going to go also on Monday. Oh, so, fun! I know. I've still got some extra tickets. I haven't offered them up yet. I want to wait and see because uh, you guys are going down though, right? Monday. Driving Monday down Monday. It's going to be a long day. We drive down Monday morning, and we get there. <laughs> uh, and as soon as we get there, we have to unload our car, put everything into the apartment. And then it's going to be hot. And then he has to get ready. And we both have to get ready. And I have to get over to the castle too. Well, we have to get to the castle, get our keys and everything. And then go to the apartment. Then go. It's just going to be then walk up that hill. That's what you're thinking about. Yeah, huh? I am thinking about that damn hill. <laughs> I, I bought new shoes. So oh, good. I, I haven't really walked in them yet. I guess I should start really breaking them in. So I'm hoping it'll be okay. But they're yeah. got heels. Heels. They got a little heel. It's up there, right? Well, wear some other shoes to walk up the hill and then change them when you get up there. Yeah, that's true. I could do that. I would do that. I'd have to hold especially, my skirts up, though. Yeah, but you know, especially when you're walking back down, when you're in heels, your toes like... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's, it's a scary heel. I, I, it, the whole thing yeah. freaks me out. Yeah. Very scary. Especially in heels and stuff. So, Oh, that's going to be fun. So you're there for the week? Yeah, we come back on the following Monday. Wow. And then no, we come back. Yeah, we come back on the following Monday, and then I'm home and fly out on Thursday to go to Buffalo, New York. Well, and you're there for what a couple like ten days or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's our. Oh, here, let me tell you something. But let me let me um pause this. You'll have you'll have the white. I uh, have them read them off because we've had some fun with that. But yeah, 
No, By the I. Way, oh, you yeah, sorry. You'll have to put me back to team one. I, I, because right now I think I'm going to be on team two when I go back out. No, no, you've got your powers. I'm not taking your powers away from you. Oh, okay. I think every, I give the powers to everybody now that are, I have rounds, and I never take them away from you. So you can go back on your own. It'll be fine. Or not. <laughs> they might you not want the... you back on team one again ron i don't know very turn the, turn the recording back on it's uh, on oh okay there was one of these prime ministers and i i i'm i, I have his face and i can't and he, i think he just died and i can't remember his name well if That's he just a... died it doesn't count because he had to be no he could have been before yeah, he's prime he's minister he died in he and just died surely the prime minister from 1867 is not still alive so. <laughs> but from 1979 he might be just a guess i don't know but he is alive and one of two candidates running for u.s president oh. yeah. uh, what carolyn uh i was just reiterating what some other people said that the ones in 1880 something were probably not alive uh, Okay, so Ron, go for it. Okay, so, um, and yeah, I, I don't know if uh, Team 1 and 2 want to read, since they didn't have any Canadians, they came up with a great list of uh, potential Prime Minister names. Um, <laughs> oh, we've installed them. <laughs> there you so, go. <laughs> so if you, if you want to put those in after, I'll do that. First things first, here are all the ones that you can't include because they were all Prime Ministers after so oh, if you I had any of these guys up. on there um oh, these are the non oh yeah these are the non-answers remember all Barbie. right you did oh okay i okay I, Chris, yeah Christian, all right here yeah. are the real the, the, the real ones lifetime, and I, i'm and i'm going i guess i'm supposed to read these afterwards but um if if you're it's even sweet. close like last name um i'm gonna give it to you but here we go so here are the names. Sir John Alexander MacDonald, John A. MacDonald, Alexander Mackenzie, Sir John Abbott, Sir John Thompson, Sir Mackenzie Bowell, you Sir have Charles have Tupper, no. okay. Sir Wilfred Laurier, Ooh. Sir Robert Laird Borden, no relation to Lizzie, Arthur Mayen, <laughs> William Lyon Mackenzie King, Richard Bradford Bennett, Louis Saint Laurent, John G. Diefenbaker, Lester B. Pearson, if anybody's ever flown into Toronto, uh, the airport is the Pearson Airport, named after him. Uh, Justin's daddy, Pierre Elliott Trudeau. <laughs> and Joe Clark, who was prime minister for, I think, three months, maybe four. Yeah. Yeah, I was, tr I was having trouble rem remembering whether his brief prime ministership was before or after 81 yeah, he just was, made it Ron, was louis saint laurent prime minister because i yes. thought wasn't he oh, oh, oh no you know what i'm thinking of uh, uh massey uh and i was thinking because um uh vincent massey not vincent massey yeah vincent massey was uh was uh um, what do you call it uh not prime minister yeah okay governor general, governor -General. Massey governor -General, was yeah. a hockey player was he not Governor General. Did you say Ethan Baker? I went to Ethan Baker's on the list. Yes. Ethan Baker is Ethan Baker is the only one that I've I actually got to meet and talk with. But that I but that's going back. Yeah. I went to Vincent Massey Public School. I went to Louis Saint Laurent High School. And and Mark, how many of these guys have you met? I have met a Pierre Elliott Trudeau. I've met Joe Clark. I interviewed him. He's a very nice man. Um, I've also met a couple of the later prime ministers that don't, don't appear on the list. And that's why we got 10. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah, we yeah. did really. All right. like those who had course. Dudley do right on their list, sorry, he did not make it as a prime minister. <laughs> that's be what I would have said. That been my more list. for Canada oh, than Can any we... other Canadian. Can we substitute like Prime Minister Poutine for one. Poutine. <laughs> yep. No. So McDonald Poutine. Prime Minister Poutine was is in Russia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you have to say it correct. with a Quebec accent. It's no, no, if, no. The, the correct way to say Poutine is exactly the same way you say Poutine in like Putin in French. Like the right way to say it is Poutine. 
and that sound and, and if you're speaking French, it's it's Vladimir Putin. Same sound, exactly the same yes. sound. All right. And then, so, so and, I, and then we put some Putin on the Ritz. That's oh, a French lesson for the Ron, evening. <laughs> Ron. Yeah. Do we need the first names correct? No. Thank you. All right. Our so strategy we... team got us two. It did. Okay. <laughs> it did. I think Ron, why don't you ask us in the in some order for our scores? <laughs> Since people are sharing them anyway. I think that's actually Susan's job. Yeah, I think Susan yeah, normally does off that. My job girl. That is somebody do it. Have one job here. Well, it's I forget. Easy. I haven't done this enough you to know what the routine job. is. It's only been four years. <laughs> well, it's so confusing because this was the bonus, yeah. and it's not supposed to be. Yeah, she woo. takes her job very seriously. Yeah. So. <laughs> so here's the question: because this is the bonus and not really round one, are you going to show the scores as you're putting them in? No. <laughs> that's right. And in the last round, you won't show them. I'm going to yeah, put this I'm in confused. the. So if I put this in the bonus category, is it going to mess everything up? No, no. Okay. No. Math. So you're going to put it in five. Slow no, news then, week. Then we can then we can all sign out. <laughs> so we mm -hmm. don't have a team name. Uh, ten. We had a Canadian. Oh. All right. Most people don't work in the Fourth of July. Fire works though. Ten. Ten. Jeez. Thanks to get the Supreme Court. Sally is fixated on Hurricane Barrel. I think we got six. Was it six or seven? I, I failed. Yeah, we got we got six. Okay. Team thrombosis. We've got six. And Ron's team. Two. Barmy Daniels is welcome at my house anytime. This is Ron's team. Right. Well, we had no Canadians on our team, but thanks to Ron's very uh, liberal and generous interpretation of what a correct answer is. Uh, we have two. All right. <laughs> how, what, how did you come up with your two? Trudeau. Pierre Trudeau and something like Lawrence or Laurence or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay. okay. That's so, Louise Saint Laurent. So, that works. Hello, hello. Yeah. So who's I think you Peggy? should apply that, Karen, also to Bordeaux. Gordon. <laughs> oh, okay. I I gotta step away and take a call real quick. So Peggy, yeah, you have your powers. You go ahead and and go, and I will come back and catch up. Um, Faith. Hey. Faith, was there one called Borden? Yes. 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 We have three. <laughs> Woohoo! Sure. Update Susan um in the next round so she can change her score. Sir Robert Layard Borden. Yes, there yeah. was. But if any of you watched the fabulous TV show Do South. The wolf on there was named Diefenbaker. Like, there's a gimme right there. Yeah. And okay. If you haven't fuck, seen it, fuck Canada. We're going to the one. United States now. It's all American. Now. <laughs> okay. The second okay. category right. is the Declaration of Independence. Did you say fuck Canada? I said yeah. fuck, fuck, fuck. Canada. You did. Because <laughs> <laughs> sure three days ago, ours is today. Okay. <laughs> Oops. God. All right. L Hang on. Little known that is one sentence that was actually left out of the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, fuck, fuck Canada. Canada. That was yeah. it. <laughs> I, was... <laughs> yeah, they considered it for a couple of days and then they Canada decided and nothing lower Canada, it. And they didn't want to write all that stuff, so they just left it out. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, uh, the Articles of Confederation contain an invite to Canada to join the United States. Back. Is that oh. true? Well, double fuck. Yeah, then. definitely true. Yeah, yeah. Right. They they said fuck the U.S. Sorry. They said, they said no. I'm sorry. Fuck they said no. <laughs> good, good move in hindsight. They said fuck us. I guess. Huh? <laughs> Are we ready yes. for question number one? Yeah, yeah. I am. You and everybody. <laughs> All right. I should, shouldn't I? Yeah. You might have. Okay. Number one bunch. is how how many delegates to the Second Continental Congress signed the Declaration of Independence? You have plus or minus one. This plus sorry, or minus two. I'm sorry, two. two. Yeah. I can't remember how to mute people. Would somebody else do the mute for me? Because I'm only on a half Who's screen calling? here. Who's has calling to, has mute. to be one of the one of the people with the uh, oh. special powers. Oh, there we go. We're muted, and so are you, Peggy. You're still muted, Peggy. I got it. I'm good now. Sort of good. 
chat post. And number two is, <clears throat> you want me to post that, don't you? What famous, uh, oh God, it comes up as number one. I'm sorry. This whole word thing is very irritating. What famous orator gave an address on July 5th, 1852 and asked, what to the slave is the 4th of July? And further quoting the rich inheritance of justice, liberty, prosperity, and independence bequeathed by your forefathers is shared by you, not by me. The sunlight that brought light and healing to you has brought stripes and death to me. This 4th of July is yours, not mine. You may rejoice, I must mourn. Let's see if we can get back to numbering. That was number two, even though it said number one. This one in the chat. Paste, and this one is number three. Uh, three, and I have to renumber it. John Adams wrote to his wife and predicted that what date would be celebrated as a great American holiday? George, not now. Please, not now. George has decided to be celebratory tonight. Paste. This is four. Um, how specific do you want that? Do you want a number? date or do you want a, a description uh the date is what's asked for yeah the actual day number four is who is the oldest signer of the declaration of independence how are the canadians doing <laughs> Here to the chat, into the copy. And this is number five. Number five is after what event was the engrossed copy of the Declaration of Independence, along with the Constitution, moved from the Library of Congress to the United States Bullion Depository at Fort Knox in Kentucky, where it was kept for three years? After what event? What happened that made them think, yeah, we should keep this safe? This is number six. Oops, said 16, that won't work. Number six, how long had the war for independence, the Revolutionary War been going on before the declaration was drafted and signed. Number seven is, so, so no plus or minus on six? Um, not at this point. Um, although the answer is in, within a range of. Um, Are we counting eight, days or months or what? No, we're counting months. Months, but but a year, any kind of year would be okay. Number seven is the Declaration of Independence is a plot device in what 2004 American film? Oop. Don't do that. We want to make you suffer through more. Number eight is send. Number eight, which also is number one, eight point one. What are the first seven words of the introduction to the Declaration of Independence? Oh, cool. We're doing the Declaration of Independence. Cool beanie babies. Cool beanie babies. Yes. I just was doing the the test on um. they had the, like the citizenship test. Oh. And I got 10. Wow. 
I'm impressed. So, but I don't know if these are the same kind of questions. Number nine, the declaration lists a history of repeated injuries and usurpations by the present king of Great Britain. What king is it referring to? Are we uh, missing two or question? Oh, uh, oh, every time. Okay, I see it. The number didn't go, so. Okay, okay I see what you mean. Now. Okay, sorry. There's two sorry. number ones, and the second number one is actually number two. Okay. Chat, chat, chat. She's using Terrence Howard numbering. Okay, got one it. One and one is. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got it. I, I had a feeling because, you know, I get her and, and Terrence Howard confused all the time. Just I know. Be careful I not to go I number to a lot of people. Okay, I'm trying to get 10. One in. and one is two, right. <laughs> one times one. What was Terrence? Terrence Howard is one times one equals two. That's right. I'm sorry, I'm just having a difficult time right well, we're, now. We're talking about Terrence Howard. Oh, okay. The whole category in him. I got to try one more time to get this one right. George, really. Sorry about George. There's like people out there that apparently are going to kill us. Okay, I'm just going to put this in and see if I get it. This is number 10, which says number one. The president in the TV series, The West Wing, had the same name as what signer, who happened to be the second signature of the Declaration of Independence? The West Wing president had the same name as this guy who signed it. All righty. Do we have any intelligent questions prior to leaving? <laughs> oh, intelligent, huh? We're getting picky, are we, in our... I kind of verifying am. questions. <laughs> okay, I I'm happy. All right, open all rooms. Y'all are gone. Yay! Off we go. I need a room, Susan. Yes, ma'am. You're going into one because they oh, sucked. Okay, I was <laughs> in that room, so. <laughs> all right. <laughs> because they suck. <laughs> Well, they got two. Okay, I'm going to two. Of course, Jane. <laughs> oh, I forgot we got Susan on this yeah. round. American we'll history them. major. <laughs> that, one, that, that American history degree came in handy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah um, all right. There are 50 yeah, signers. So how many were delegates to the Second Continental Congress signed the declaration? 56. 56? Yeah. Okay. Um, was it the questions they asked on the citizenship? What'd you say, Susan? I just did the test on, you know, the citizenship. If you could pass the U.S. citizenship thing. I just passed it with flying colors. And these are not the questions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wasn't that Douglas? The... Yeah, Frederick Douglas. Fre Frederick Douglas, right? I believe so. Yeah. Um, three. And John Adams thought they were going to celebrate the day that the that it was introduced to the Congress, which was oh. the second. July second? Yeah. Okay, I was thinking July third, but um Yeah, I had heard July third before, now that you mentioned well, it. Well they they signed or they did something. I'm just yeah. listening to video our audio book on Jefferson. Oh, did you see that there's a brand new book out on, um, is it on Jefferson? They were talking about an MSNBC. Oh my gosh, it was pretty. He was interviewed by, the author was interviewed by Lawrence O'Donnell last night, I think. Oh, no, I watched Lawrence last night. I watched Lawrence last night. Maybe it was the night before. 
it's, it's a new book out and it talks about the oh american revolution and, and yeah yeah and it was new light. light very new light they were okay with um they were saying lawrence was saying that they were okay with seven-year-olds and stuff like that working in factories and women and stuff like that that anyway it looked really good but i didn't i, yeah. I, I probably didn't get a new book okay so do you think it, bill do you think it's the second or the third I'm, I'm okay it was introduced on the second it was discussed and i may have been voted on on the third and then it was signed on the fourth yeah i think i think he was saying that the day that it was introduced was going to be okay the, i was thinking it was the, be the second Okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay. I never second, heard of it. I'm thinking it's the third. Um, Franklin signed, didn't he? Yeah. He then was he's the, the oldest. oldest. He was the oldest. At he would be the oldest. And that it was, was the uh, December of 41, so it'd be Pearl Harbor. It is. Ooh, that's a good one. Number five. Pearl Harbor. Where was it before? It's in the archives. Where in it is Washington, D.C. Yeah. Move from the Library of Congress to the bullion deposit at Fort Knox, Kennedy. Oh. To protect it. On Pearl Harbor. Okay. No, because of Pearl Harbor. Because of because Pearl Harbor, of, yeah. So, let's see. Do, she, do we have to Oh, what event she wants? What event? So, yeah. it's Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I saw I both did. of them when we were in. Uh, How we long in... had the War for Independence been going on before? Well, the if we start with Concord and uh, yeah, that which was April of seventy-five, then it was fourteen months. 14 or 15 months. So it's interesting the way she worded it, just how long it had been going on, not how many years or how many months. Or She did say that she was looking for months. Oh, okay. So she did, okay. So 14 months? 14 or 15 months. Well, we got to, She we've got to be, she said she wasn't going to give well, a plus or minus. Okay. The thing is, it was the middle of May or middle of April May, June, first of July. July. It would be 16 months. 16 months? Okay. And then the seven, we know that one, that was that um, conspiracy theory one. The, um, what was it called? The, one, the one question I know. What is it? About movies, National Treasure. Okay. Yes. I, I wouldn't have remembered that, but I remember. And the funny thing was, see. When she asked the question about them moving the Declaration of Independence, I almost made a joke. Did it have anything to do with Nicolas Cage? <laughs> but, <laughs> which is why we should always be white. We should be. I know. Uh, we should be mu muted. Okay. Uh, the first seven know. words are "We the people of the United." We the oh. people of the United States. But she's asking about what are they in the introduction. That I thought it was going to be when in the course of we human hold history. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Oh, say it again? No, that, but that's not the introduction. The introduction. I don't know. That's just all I know. So. Yeah, the, the, the introduction is the, you know, who and why we are, that they were doing it. So but that's nine words. I thought, we, I thought we the seven words. We hold of, Choose to be self-evident. It's hyphenated. So. No. We the people of the United States of America. So if you take the of and I, the the. No, it's, it's we the out. people of the United States, period. I think Seven that's, words. that's not words. the introduction. There's it is the introduction. There's a introductory thing that says, when in the course of human history, blah, blah, blah. When in the course, that comes later. When in the I, that was I, think the right. I think Bill's all of right. these are seven words. I think it's we the people of of the United States. I think that's right. The first seven words of the introduction. 
Are we the people of the United States? I thought it said of America after that, but I'll, I'll yeah. go with the United States. That's fine. That's seven. Yeah. Okay. And thought, it's King you George, know when the NPR like George the Third. George the Third, yes. Yeah, George. But I was gonna guess. Okay. Who watched Jane? This Dan is yours, right? I didn't see well, it. Well, I is it I Hamilton? Did, I actually didn't watch no, the show. No, no, no. no I, so. I think it's something like Bart Bartlett or, or Yeah, Bartlett. That's the second signer? Well, I don't know. I was I was talking about the president on the West Wing. <laughs> um do you think it's Bartlett? Think the Bartlett. I think there's the Bartlett signer. Second I actually summer. haven't ever watched the show yet. It's still on my list of things to watch. <laughs> Me too. It's on a very long list of things yeah. I will never get to, ever. I'm waiting for a time where I'm incapacitated and I have to watch, like on a, a space mission to Mars, and I have nothing but downtime or something. I, I can but get you know things. that they'll they'll put you in a coma like they did on the Hail Mary project. You know, Lawrence oh, wow. O'Donnell was a co uh, was a writer on that show. You know, yeah, that. he did. He did Lawrence. He did uh, the West Wing, and I've never seen it. So, oh, well, I will never meet Lawrence. You know, I shouldn't say never. Maybe I'll meet Lawrence O'Donnell somewhere. I had a dream. Actually, I had a dream, and I just remembered that now. I was on a plane, and it was right after. I guess it was might have been after the president's latest mess in Thursday. And I think I was had to be seated next to Lawrence O'Donnell. I was talking to him. I think I remember. And I asked him, is it true that he probably, I said, oh, I watch you all the time. I love your show. I, I put, sometimes I put your clips up on my Facebook feed. And I said, but I have this question I really want to have an answer to. I really love to know. And he says to me something like, like thinking it's going to be something related to politics. And I said, is it true that you were a good friend of James Randi? <laughs> that was my question. Because I I had heard he was. I didn't know that. Yeah, because he was going to be at one of the conferences when I was writing one of the Wikipedia articles a long time ago about Tam or something. Lawrence O'Donnell was on the speakers list and he was going to be speaking. So I had to ask around. I said, I don't think Lawrence O'Donnell's ever spoken at a Tam. And they said, they said, oh, he had to cancel. There was something that came up that he was a good friend of Randy's. And that's how they got him. And I thought, oh, I didn't know that. That'd be so cool. So so I'm waiting to meet him. And that's going to be my question. If he was a good friend of uh, James Randy's. So should we say Bartlett? Was yeah, that that's fine. Josiah Bar Bartlett was, a, was one of the signers. So You remember his first name? Yep. Wow. What in the world goes in that brain of yours, Bill? I want to know. Just about everything, and and it, everything just sticks. Out, huh? Coming out slower and slower. I'm getting as I <laughs> but get older. It's still older, in there somewhere. It's still in there, there somewhere. It's amazing how people's brain. Some people have that ability. Everything goes in my brain. I get. I mean, I just listened to a whole book on Mary, uh, Mary, Mary of Tech. Oh my gosh. And I, I've heard it like three, this book, it's 26 hours. I love that stuff. It goes in and I get yeah. all this content and then it pushes something out the other side. Yeah. Because uh, you shake uh, your head and it all falls out. <laughs> it's like I can only hold so much. Sherlock Holmes, your brain has only so much room. You yeah, learn didn't... something. If your brain is full, you learn one thing, something, uh, is pushed out so uh i just before on. exams walked around and wouldn't move my head very much <laughs> I, I, I was afraid bill um that can was, we, we, we can we request a couple of a uh, mm -hmm. couple additional minutes no no request but the answer is no <laughs> no <laughs> how many points did you get in the last round oh no 30 seconds how many canadians are on your team no <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sure, you can have two minutes. No, no George is barking, but I'll try to do this anyway. George is adorable. Oh, he's so adorable. He is. George. So, George. I'm looking forward George. to your PowerPoint. Oh, look, you have a pretty PowerPoint. I have a I just am so constant with my PowerPointing. That is very there cool. Okay.
Declaration of Independence, we have a copy of it, sort of, in blurry form. Number one, 56 delegates. Hey. Declaration. Mm -hmm. Any more than that. Right. Very good. Well, I knew it was a lot. <laughs> yeah. 13 it's colonies, a, a bunch of people. It's a famous number. Number one oh, is Frederick, Frederick Douglass. Douglass. Yay, that was a very moving one kind of take on the 4th yeah. of July that all of us should pay attention to. So John yeah, Adams good. decided that yes. July 2nd, yes. which was the day that they all oh. to, to, to break off from England, that was the day he thought would be the most memorable epic in American history. We should get that day off too. So what happened? Oh. No, when they people didn't show up, so they did it too. They days probably got before. drunk and fought about it for a couple of days. No, it took, they had it took to a while to come it. up with a written version and sign it, and that was two days later. Oh man! And then they didn't even really like sign um, it. Sign and it. And it was, and it was it. announced on the eighth. So yeah, they didn't announce it and read it to people till the eighth. So there was no internet then, no social media. It yeah, it didn't just <laughs> pop up all the time. All the people in Philadelphia that heard about it. Yeah, I had only a 40 character limit. So the, pr time, the press so. was not sitting in Independent Hall live tweeting the event? <laughs> and there was a guy painting them. They they stood there while the painter painted them. I thought it was going to be I Christmas. Know why I can't. Move on, Christmas. Peggy, quick. I'm trying and it won't go and I don't know why. I'm going to have to stop and come back, I guess. Uh, come on, PowerPoint. What are you doing? Everybody pray. Uh, Here we go. Number four, Benjamin Franklin. He was 70. You're not sharing like it. You're not sharing it. Oh, I'm not. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> well. Not, fuck Canada and fuck me. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Hi, fuck wow, Canada. That's pretty personal. Everybody's getting fucked tonight. It's a good day. It's a holiday. <laughs> There's going to be fireworks. Oh, it's, it's just, just a another day. day. I just have to. Okay. Over here at Catnip go. Corners. It's the 4th of July. Fuck the Redcoats. Can you see Ben now? Yeah. yeah. There he, is. he was totally getting fucked. He was. He was. <laughs> that's why the is was. possible. All right. And then we've got, I'm not even going to put it on that other one now. Number five oh. is the bombing oh. of Pearl Harbor, oh. which oh, I We were off by a couple hundred years. Thank yeah. you. Oh. Thank you, Bob. <clears throat> Good job. Okay. Number six, oh, there was a year oh. or 15 months. Oh. The war started in April of 1775 when the Battle of Bunker Hill or whatever the Bostonian mm -hmm. battle was. It's, so but it started at the shot year or 15 months. Is there a plus or minus? No. A I year is at the, it's at, plus or minus because well, I'll take a year. The shot at Concord happened before that, though. I thought that's when it started. Oh, we said 774. We get it? No, it means if. You started with April 1775 and you went with a year or 15 months. You get it. Okay, yeah, that's a range shot, the shot at Concord happened in 74, though. But that's a range. So that's 12, 12, 12 to 15 a year months. Or 15 months. 12, to, 12 15 months. to 15 months. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the, the, some people say it started in 1774 with the shot at Concord. And yet, I'm not saying that. Concord was in 75. Okay, then I'm wrong. Concord. Concord. Why don't you listen to Peggy and, and not accept I'm it when a male that, voice what says, what about, I was off by a year anyway, so it doesn't matter. All what, right, about, Matt, what about Grossingers? <laughs> Never possible. mind, you guys are the wrong coast. Yeah. yeah. Okay, National Treasure. I think most of you got that. We didn't um, Oh, geez. Number eight is when in the course of human events. Ah, oh, Bill. There it is right here. Right here at the beginning. Okay. Oh, Sorry about that. I was okay. The... That's the end of the And then there's the preamble part. In Congress, July 4th, 1776 is the top of the page. And then we Ooh. have King George the Third is yeah. number nine. George. It's George. The is evil that a king, the mad King is? George. I know. Oh, it, it looks kind of horrible right there. Dang, I, like I liked it. And number 10 is Josiah Bartlett. Oh, they were Josiah Bartlett. named Josiah Bartlett. Yeah, can, we, can we go with Bartlett? Yeah. Yeah, I'd take Bartlett. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. yeah okay. Josiah J. Bartlett. Celia, I don't know if you saw, I sent you the answer before. I did. Thank you very much. At least we get it right. Okay. Yay, good for you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, let's see it. 
let's see, didn't uh, let's see, didn't the uh, uh, when they had the ma uh, uh, madness of King George III uh, uh, show in the states, they just uh, took off the third so that Americans wouldn't think, oh well, it's the third, it's a third sequel, <laughs> it's a second uh, sequel. Oh, we're not that dumb. Well, there were there were a few jokes during the you know second bush administration about him being you know the mad king george yeah because he was pretty mad yeah he, he was, was very crazy mad. what he did yes but well, he sang real well <laughs> yeah. okay so of course the formerly worst president of the United States till something else happened. Yeah, he got off yeah. the hook. Yeah, he got off the hook. He's like, yes, <laughs> I'm not the worst now. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not on the last. Okay, here we go with the scores. So, that Stormy Daniels severe. is welcome at my house. Are you scores? Yeah. Stormy Daniels is welcome at my house at any time. Seven. But they had a three in the last round. Oh, I yeah. We, we had two. Yeah, we had one more. We, no, it was. Yeah. Oh, it happened. We got well, that's one. right. Did you you after you got the phone are you call, sharing it? I'm not getting it for some reason. Yeah, I you guys can see it. Yeah, we can. We all okay. can see okay. it. up there. I don't know Team why. Team thrombosis. Uh, there this we go. Not the I first week nine. that you've had that problem. So there's something. Team thrombosis. I've got it. Nine. nine. Way to go, Team thrombosis. <laughs> Forget the Supreme Court. Science fixated on Hurricane Barrel. Hello. Zero. Um, we got six. All right. So most people don't work on the Fourth of July fireworks, though. We got eight. Slow news week, so we don't have a team name. Seven. Ooh, we got these things spread out. Scary. Okay. Do we break now, or are we breaking after the next one? <laughs> We're gonna break now, so let's take a school picture. Oh, let's go! <laughs> okay, Wait a minute, I need my glasses. Get our uh, Canadian history class. Get over. my Grenada flag in there. Where was yeah. Adrian when I needed Solidarity her? Solidarity post hurricane. Where do you need to go? I don't have my American flag stuff with me right now. It's outside. Okay, ready, everybody. American flag in the background. Ready. So we've got. Okay, one, two, three. So uh, yeah. All right, good job, Kevin. So we've got two Susan Gerbics here. Oh, there's the that other happens. one. I see her. Oh, you hello, know, everybody. Susan Gerbic. An imposter. Hi, Hi. Susan Gerbic. <laughs> so, so I marched in the um, Monterey's Fourth of July parade with a Peace Corps contingency, and we had we had the the victims of the hurricane pretty well represented with Grenada and. And Barbados and uh, Jamaica. So, wow. A, su a Susan Gerbic solidarity too. group there. Susan Gerbic too. Would you kindly oh. write uh, write down um, as many Canadian prime ministers as you can think of, <laughs> of that were prior to uh, to uh, what was it? Uh, Nineteen eighty one. Name, That's name, what made it name, hard. I think I can do two. <laughs> so she wouldn't have been any help either. So there you go. She's too young. There you go. Yeah, that was the mean part of it having to be before 81. Because 81 was a long time ago. Yeah, not so long. Hey, I want to know. Mark, how'd you meet all those guys? Wait, you're Mark, muted. Mark's Mark. muted. Um, everyone, I have... To Okay, I have, to, uh, I have to go. So okay, nice to see you. Have yourself, hon. Better. 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 Like, better. It's gonna take a few weeks, but hopefully I'll oh, get. We get better. We'll, we'll be here. Yeah. I, I used to work for Pierre Elliott Trudeau's magazine, Cité Libre. So that that's a Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Ah, uh, cool. I also was a reporter for the Toronto Star and um, Ottawa Sun, so I met a couple. I met I met a couple of them in the course of my work. So, so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye, Bye. Carolyn. Love you, Carolyn. Good work on Bartley. 
good work on Bart. Oh, and don't forget, Carolyn, tomorrow I'm having a drop in for uh, GSW. Okay. Um, I don't know if I, I'll let you know. Okay. 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 Yeah, anyway, Mark. I guess I'll, I guess I'll sign off. And, uh... Okay. You too. They're all leaving. <laughs> all right. See you, Jim. Bye. Bye. Yeah, Mark, oh, I, Jim, please. Mark, I, 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 I actually, I ran into Diefenbaker on the steps of Parliament when I was I was playing with the Canadian National Youth Orchestra and we were we were in residence at uh, in Ottawa and I'd never been over to Parliament so I took I, I was running over there and I go running up the stairs I had like a half an hour and as I'm walking up the stairs so there's uh, he said there's Diefenbaker so I so I walk right up to him and right away big smile puts out his hand hello young man and. And he's, where are you from? And I said, I'm from Toronto. And he goes, oh, and I swear this guy, the consummate, uh, I mean, he wasn't prime minister at the time, but the consummate um, uh, uh, politician, he probably had a story for every little hovel in the entire country. So it didn't matter where you were from, he would have a, he would have a, a story. So he, he's talking to me about Hogs Hollow in Toronto and, and, and stuff. But I thought that was just so cool. Uh, even if I never voted for him. What was that place? I I haven't heard of that. Hoggis Hollow, you said? Hogs Hollow Hogs in Hollow. Toronto. Okay. Um, the funny thing is, I'm not even, uh, Ron, do you know where Hogs Hollow was? Isn't it off I of the- I can't remember. Uh, it's, I think, I think it's off of the, uh, uh, the mighty Don, the Don River, but, uh, okay. uh, and it's up, I think, one of the northern, uh, uh, north-ish suburb. But uh, Hogs Hollow, I'd never been. I knew the name of it, and it was just funny. So that's the first thing that came to his mind. But um, yeah, no, I I believe how many trivia people mind. have met Canadian prime ministers, and I haven't. Oh, well, it's, it's not hard. It's early days. Where the headless horseman was from? Yeah. Actually, sure, actually, it was it. that that same that same um, uh, week that I was in Ottawa. I did get real close to. Uh, to uh, uh, Ronald Reagan because they had one of these uh, uh, I don't know it was a G seven or whatever it was and he came in and it's a helicopter so we went all and he, he waved to us so I got to see Ronald Reagan but uh, yeah cool beans I gotta feed my beast I'll be right back right he's making an appearance so you know that means he needs food cool beanie babies. <laughs> I feel terrible that I let my team down with the prime ministers. I, I just I, you know, once once Ronnie put the the list up, I I, uh, I I recognize all these names and stuff, but I I couldn't remember all those guys. Ron, wake up! <laughs> I'm doing the uh, New York Times puzzle. Um, how did how did you do on that when you uh, when you uh, when you went to the uh, the thing? Oh, you talk about the crossword. Yeah, I'm doing the, the Saturday puzzle. So how did how did you do when you went to the? Uh, not tournament? not well. Yeah. It's not one of my better um, outings. Uh, those guys are pretty amazing, though. Oh God, yeah. I don't I don't worry about competing with those guys. So Mark, what what were you uh what were you doing with, uh, what were you uh, writing for the uh, the papers? I was mostly a crime reporter. Like uh I actually didn't do politics as very much. I mean sometimes I sat in on elections and stuff like that. Like and sometimes I mean if the, if if somebody to just showed up in the town uh and they I didn't have anybody to cover it. I was just a like I was just a freelance reporter. I, I mostly did stuff for uh the uh, A section of the Toronto Star. You know, you know the, the, the news like murders and stuff like that. That's what yeah. I was all over here. Well, because I would have thought that politics and and crime would have been the same section. So, uh... mm -hmm. well, you <laughs> know, in, in yeah, I know you joke, but you know, in depth analysis, political analysis, that's a specified, you know, a specific form of uh, writing. And so, you know, I'm not smart enough to do uh, high level politics, but. Uh, where, just, so where are you now? Where, where are you? Well, I'm, 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 I'm pretty much retired now, but I mean, if somebody called me up, I, I'd go do some work. No, but where, where are you living? Like where? Uh, 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 near the Cornwall, you know, the right way down in the yeah. east end. Of yeah, yeah. On, on the St. Lawrence. Yeah, exactly. Right on St. Lawrence, actually. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the St. Lawrence. This picture, that's the St. Lawrence behind me. So, 
you know. But um, yeah, the, the um, and and City Leap was like something I did when I was in, in university. Like uh, City Leap was that was it was revived in the late eighties. Like it, it, for those of us who are, aren't Canadians, City Leap was a very influential Montreal um, magazine that Trudeau founded. I think I think going back to the nineteen fifties, and then. Um, there was a revived version of Cité Libre started in uh, 1980. I, I did I did one thing for him. Actually, I did it about Gwen Jacobs, the first woman to take off her top in public in Canada. And uh, I wrote it for them and I got it, you know, they, they said, yeah, fine, fine, they published it and they, they let me come to their uh, dinners. You know, they invite, I had an open invitation to come to their dinners. That's cool. so, that was how, how far is Cornwall from Kingston? Uh, it's about two and a half hours. Oh, so you're about half. You're about halfway between Toronto and uh, and and Kingston. Uh, uh, no, no, actually, I'm, I'm, the closest city would be Montreal and Ottawa. Oh, so you and Cornwall's the other way. It's past past Kingston. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. It's it's almost in. Ah, it's almost, all right, okay. It's almost in Montreal, and I'm also almost in the United States. Like I could be, I could be in the, I could be in upstate New York in about uh, 15 minutes if the traffic's okay. Well, Is actually. That yeah. The, yeah, the Thousand Islands, or you're past that. No, the Thousand Islands are past it. Uh, the, the the closest big city, which is more than an, an hour away, would be like Placid <laughs> in upstate New York. But yeah, all right. Quite, quite a way away. Like yeah. there's nothing much on the on the uh, northern border of New York State uh, where I am. It's uh, a bunch of small towns that you probably haven't heard of. Yeah, like uh, that's a few. Like where? New York, for me. What, what what I'm sorry you we Messina New, Messina New York that's that's the closest town but I mean it's so small I don't most most Americans wouldn't have heard of it like uh, Messina I'm trying to like, remember we, I, I, what fort I visited on the St Lawrence up that and I can't remember if it was if it was at Cornwall or not because it had a, it they fort had a neat no? pardon me Fort Covington maybe no I just remember it was just it was it was a cool story that they used to um, I guess they. Uh, you know, they used to fight the Americans uh, when they, when the when the river was frozen. They they'd sneak they'd run across to the American side and steal their chickens and come back. Oh yeah, that was that, that was only during the War of 1812 though. Like you know, yeah, it, was not, yeah. it was not like a, a, a permanent raiding thing. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, actually, that those the people from Cornwall did do that. Um, they 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 raided the uh, American side, but you know. That was during the War of 1812, where it's, you know it was, it was okay to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, Susan, are we going five, one, four, two, three? Is that our order four. tonight? By uh, bonus one, two, three, four. I got it. That's just too easy, Susan. I know it freaks me out too, but we'll be all right. All right. So, we back. Let's let's come back. I think we're ready. So we have. Uh, any announcements? I don't think I have anything except I'm going to be Kyle and Kyle on here. Oh, Kyle I know. On here either. Neither of them. Um, I'm going to be in in LA next week, starting on Monday, and hopefully I will see many LA people. Um, spend some time with them, and then I'm going to be in Western New York, at Skeptic Camp there, as well as and Coleman Watts just. Uh, signed on so he's going to be there Faith Romero who know him so he's decided to come out and fly out to western New York and because they don't have enough women there's I said I'm the only woman on the schedule and I don't like that we should have women so we got to get women to do this and so whenever we added Coleman I told him he has to come and drag <laughs> and he said okay I'm good with that I bet you he's beautiful in drag too. And then he and then he checked in with me later. He said that I, I he says so is it on? Did it work? Do I have to wear pants? <laughs> Can I wear pants? Why don't you get Lady Verapaka? Oh yeah, that'll work. You guys should hire her for one of the events. It'll be awesome. Uh huh. I doubt she does any. She she probably wouldn't show. You know how she is. She's so flaky. So then. What else? Um, then I'm going to be in Eugene and Seattle coming up here real soon. So, and then okay. I'm going to be in I'm Dallas. I'm going to Skeptical. No, I'm not going to be at Skeptical. It's virtual. I'm going to be at Skeptical. Oh, but it's virtual. So, so? you'll all be at Skeptical. Will they? I don't know if that. You register. 
If you make an announcement, so go ahead and do announcements. Talk about Skeptical. Yeah, well, because Carol should do left, it. but Skeptical is coming up to the committee. Actually, the the um the uh, hang on here. Let me see if it's on my screen. I don't know. There's a Skeptical on, Deborah, on the Friday, and I think hang they're going to try to do it from Western New York because that's where I will be. But uh, they're not sure if they're going to have internet to do it at the where we're going to do it like a, a pub night or something. But they're not sure if they have. Oh, like a skeptics in the pub. Thing? Yeah. So they're doing yeah, a skeptics with... in pub, but they're not sure they're going to have internet to be able to do it. Yeah, that's always a problem, I think. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm and just going to share this. I don't know how you can I'm going to share noise. this really, really quick. Hold on. There. They're they're doing a skeptics in the pub that's going to be 24 hours. And they're going yes. to pass the host duties to countries around the world. But how are they yeah. going to do it at actual, like, how are they going to do that? Like you I said, we're going to you have to ask, you have you to ask David that. <laughs> David knows. <laughs> I'm going to um, log in, like, throughout the day. Yeah, yeah, you could do it any time. It's going to be 24 hours. So, but group, uh, wherever you are, group whenever it? you are, or a group could do it. And and if you're at a pub and that you have good enough internet, so much the better. But anyway, I think I shared this to everybody. This is just from my email. Um, if you want to go to the actual conference, which is on the weekend, the uh, early pricing is extended until Friday. Did you put it in the chat? I don't see anything. And you guys can look at this. You can watch the videos later. So You I mean, didn't see my screen sharing? You can't. Nope. No. No. Nope. Oh, hang on. Maybe it didn't. There you go. Oh, sorry. I guess I didn't push all the buttons there. Um, yeah, if you buy a ticket and you can't go or you don't, can't go to all of it, you can see the videos later. And if you wait a really long time, even if you don't get a ticket, you could probably see them too. But Six months, I think you have to wait. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, they're posting them in 2025 online for free. Yeah. So if you so, want to see them before then, you got to get your ticket. Yeah. And there's some and, and, pretty and just like here, cool. it's a Zoom chat. So you can like, you know, chat to people while you're so, you know, yeah. What were you saying, Deborah? Uh, what was I saying? You said there, um, there's some pretty cool, and then you got cut oh, off. Oh, there's some pretty cool, really cool speakers. Um, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. How are the ticket sales going? I, you know, I haven't seen it for a little while. Um, I think it's going pretty well, but I don't, I'm not, I don't really have anything to judge it against. I don't know how many they sold last time. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> So, so I there, think there, we might have hit a hundred or something like that. Uh, we have, it's the pandemic, though. I on think the website, there's a schedule. There's a specific schedule on one of these buttons. Uh, Deborah, I'm going to stop sharing. We don't need to be want. seeing my screen forever. Yeah. Right. Right. There. Rob, you have something new? Well, I, yeah, I can go on about Skeptical. I, I, I went crazy for the last two weeks doing video editing and I created what is going to be shown as a lightning talk. And here's my Facebook post about that. Um, nice. So it's, you know, I don't get credited as a speaker, but there's a section where there's like two hours of lightning talks and they ask people to send videos in of something. So uh, I did that. Jay Diamond asked me. Also, there is a, I don't know when they're going to do this. This is not clear from the schedule, but they're going to have, um, they're going to have other nonprofits uh, be able to promote their organizations. And I made a video, a three minute video for recovering from religion, which is there, which I sent in and they were going to play that. Could we do We Can Reason then? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Send it to Jay. Uh, the deadline was, to deadline was July 1st. So you better talk to Jay. Oh, yeah. Talk we... to talk to Jay. Okay. So, would they have I would to bet be that if there's. If there's space, he'd probably yeah. take it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah, it wouldn't video. hurt to ask him. But he's J J Diamond is the one. Yeah, I think that the video, Janine. Yep. Yeah. I don't have videos. Got to get something. Make how long was yours, Rob? Three minutes. Uh, yeah, three minutes. Three okay. minutes for recovering from religion. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually really cool because the organization had never done this before and, and they had nothing which had Damn. in a video format and this kind of, okay. you know, I asked for a meeting with the president and the executive director and they all thought it was a great idea and they said, who's going to do that? And I said, well, I could do yeah. minor editing and I basically took the job over and then I had other volunteers. I had the president make a recording and we put it all together in about a week and it, now we have it to advertise all over mm -hmm. the internet. So it's really cool that, you know, That's this perfect. came up. So um, do you have any other interviews coming up, Rob? 
I I did uh, Rena Raphael, and I still need to send in the article, and I got a couple of other people uh, scheduled, but nothing imminent. So I'm not going to talk about those yet. Somebody else did. Uh, Melanie just did a uh, recording of um, Coleman Watts, and it really was great. I watched that the other day. Yeah, in Faith and Romero's house. Yeah, I, I recognized. That was yeah. very good. <laughs> it was very good. Because that's where I interviewed uh, them. Um, Adrian, anything? Adrian and Cat, you had a really great uh, episode last week on the Skeptic Zone and the dice game. <laughs> that you guys suck at picking numbers. <laughs> Every, but, every uh, time it was fun it was fun every, listening to you guys anything else coming up on the skip I, I pissed off all of australia um we do have a fan yeah hey, i fan. woke up this morning richard sent me a 17 well i have a, a fan a 17 minute clip because somebody he was interviewing Second. said that he really liked our segment yeah nice well, so it's like nice. i'm not shocked look at us go and he called us Where's kate and Allie. Night? It yes, was great. Kate and Allie. <laughs> That's perfect. Hey, where's Lee tonight? Anybody heard? No. Hmm. Last I heard, Lee was roasting because oh, it's, it's disgustingly hot yeah. there. Yeah, and he's probably got. I bet. Well, it is a major shows. holiday. He may have plans. Yeah. Well, yeah. His, if it, if it's eighty three at my house, it was probably oh, one hundred eighty three yeah. at yeah, his house. Yeah, it's also probably it's really the right fireworks are probably not doing well for his animals. Yeah, it was right. 108 there last I heard. Oh, Good God. Wow. There's there's wow. no reason. No. Come on, we need to have another uh what is it? Uh I tell you it's Project Hell Mary. It's this global warming. It's I mean to have a major hurricane in June. Yeah. I mean it's it's, so many hurricanes that we just it, it's so it unprecedented, it's just horrible. I mean, the life of these people on an island, you know, you have nowhere to go. It's um and, well, I just looked and, at my yeah. computer, and it says that in Las Vegas now at eight o'clock, it is one hundred and two degrees, so it's down. Uh, oh. uh, okay, so so right so, now back to here in Salinas, it's eight o'clock at night, and it's sixty-five. Ooh, nice. That's oh. perfect temperature. So, I, so don't hate me. We it have was a lot made. warmer earlier. In Sacramento, well, we had, it finally got down below 100. It's 97 right We now. had a high of 79 oh. today, and that is that is very hot for you. That's hot for us. We had yeah, a high of 109 yeah. today. See, but the thing about it is, you guys, our weather is <laughs> flipping amazing, but we pay for it. It's very expensive because very, the weather is so amazing. It's 20 Celsius here. What's that? That's perfect. Figure it out yourself. 70, right. 20, 20 is perfect. Actually, we're the same. Oh, no, we're down to 17 now, but we were 20 earlier. Oh, yeah, we were 24 today. That's like at 70, I think. We got up to 38 at 10 o'clock this morning. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh. Yeah. All that's right, hot. We could be 34 so on 20, Monday and I'm doing Are we ready? Hot. We ready Hold to come on. back? No, 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 no. No, no. no. I, haven't, oh. I, I haven't spoken yet. It's my turn, Susan. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Adrian didn't say anything. <laughs> I, yeah. We were just talking I, about the weather for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the, yeah, I will be doing the newsletter this week, of course. And it's the 200th awesome. newsletter. So 200. 200. That's oh. an important wow. So tune in. As well as I wanted to announce, I don't, you may have done this already, Susan. So forgive me if I'm repeating, but the New Mexico Skeptic Camp videos are right now, as we speak, being uploaded. And Dave and I are talking and we had a few glitches, but hopefully by the weekend, because it takes at least an hour for each to be uploaded to YouTube. So uh, Celestia's is there now and it is the NMSR. That's the channel. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. These are, let me tell you guys, the Raleigh talks and the, the New Mexico talks are both awesome. So talk and about I had to, I had to learn how to do video. And I learned one thing very important about when you're videotaping a conference, don't get too invested in the talk because you forget then that you, you need to follow <laughs> the person and <laughs> make sure you're in focus. So <laughs> oh, I had I had my video camera off to the side and I was so she was able to use some of my footage fake. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I can't yeah. stand doing video. 
but it's hard it's, it's really hard and then it, yeah and then combining it and putting it all together in the end and it, it's it, I think they've turned out okay I don't know what I'm doing but it's for for a first attempt I think it's pretty good I'm I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're happy. gonna be fine I mean I'm a volunteer they're free they're good enough right okay. yeah look at it <laughs> and and don't forget the talks in la that we did at the skeptic camp mm. down there also those were great they were terrific uh, oh my gosh even monterey county skeptics all the skeptic camps we've done the talks have been just amazing i've been so pleased with all the quality of the people have come above and beyond for everything mm. we did i mean all so the talks every have been one so of them good every one of them have been fantastic so you know if you ever have feel like you need some downtime you want to just let it roll and, and spend a day with us. It, oh my gosh, these things have been great. And we're going to do New York and so on. So there's a lot of talks to come up the skeptic camp wise. They're all, you know, um, by uh, the topics are great. So, so there, I put Celestia's in, there's not a playlist. I, I'm hoping that Dave does a playlist once they all get up uh, uh, downloaded, but so right now subscribe to this channel, you guys, that way as they come up, you'll be able to see them coming up. Oh, and the, and the music is Dave Thomas. I know Dave Thomas did this parody. And so <laughs> we were looking at music to put as the intro and outro of the slide or the videos. And so the suggestion was, well, why don't we do the, he was going to record for me, but I used the recording from when he performed it live and it's actually really cute. So hopefully you like it. Yeah, this will be fun. I'm really looking forward to watching these. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm tired of it. it. I'll tell you that much, but. <laughs> <laughs> fun. All right, everybody. So we're back. Celia, you're up. I'm up. Okay, so this is going to be a little change of pace from that last one. <laughs> the declaration. <laughs> this is not free prisoners in prisons oh goody so just to be clear <laughs> um the idea of this popped into my head several weeks ago and i i had it brewing for a little while and this was the first opportunity to present it so it wasn't really meant to be a fourth of july uh trivia category but in a way you can sort of interpret it a little bit politically sort of kind of so I'm going to give you a list of uh, 10 notable individuals who, um, uh, you know, some living, some dead, but all of whom at some point in the course of their life were, uh, you know, jailed, imprisoned, um, or in some way in, um, incarcerated, some way um, held against their, their will. Okay. Oh, so I'll give you 10 names. And then I'm going to give you 15 names of uh, locations that they were held. Now, in some cases, um, there may be somebody who um, there will be on the list. Some people who um, were, um, you know, jailed for one of another word, restrained uh, more than once in their life um, or in two different I should say two different occasions for their life because it could be maybe a different charge or it could be the same sentence in different locations, okay? But unless I made a terrible error, there will only be one in that list of 15 that will match for each of those 10 individuals. Make sense? I think so. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go to copy and paste here. You know how that goes with a word a little bit. And I tried because the numbers always go wonky. I tried to write the numbers instead. So we'll see. That should help. If how that goes. Um, whoops, hold on. Copy it before I can paste it. Okay. And then come back to the chat. So should paste out. Okay, first five names. So it did work to say, okay, uh, one, um, and I'm and I'm gonna mess up some of these pronunciations. So forgive me. Okay, uh, Aung San Suu Kyi, mm -hmm. two, Cesar Chavez, three. Are you going to post those? Oh my God, I didn't. I'm so sorry. I always keep forgetting to hit that little uh, arrow. Little arrow. Okay, one, Aung San Suu Kyi, two, Cesar Chavez, three, Charles Nung, four, David Harris, 
five, Albert Fish. Okay, and then the next 10, or the next five, I should say, sorry. Oh, it works. It works much better to write out the numbers than to note that everyone that uses word. Much better writing of that out than than the numbers. Okay, six <clears throat> is Jean Wara Waratsuki. Seven, Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> Eight, <laughs> Mary Wad. Nine, Nelson Mandela. And 10, Peter Tosh. Okay, all of those individuals at some point in their life were restrained for one reason or another. And I'm gonna give you a list of uh, their places of incarceration. Hold me a minute here. Oh, plus, I'll copy and paste this too. Um, so each of those 10, you come up with one place that they were kept at some point. Um, and then as a bonus, if you can come up with the reason for all of those individuals, okay? If you, if you couldn't, if you come up with the reason for each one of those 10, <laughs> that they were restrained wherever they were um, incarcerated. So do you mean we get a point whether we name why they were imprisoned or where they were? No. So the the 10 general questions, if you can match the person with their location correctly. And then as a bonus. Are you giving us the location? I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, that's coming. That's coming. Sorry. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you a list of 15 locations and then 10 of them. You can put one for each of the. 10 individuals but is that 10 bonuses no 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 is it one no. thing that they were all 10 in common no 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 <laughs> just any one of the no, 10 no, 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 no. you have to know what no, each all, of them okay so the regular points are matching up the person correctly with where they were okay there's 10 individuals but there's 15 potential locations okay the bonus is if you can guess for all 10 of them why they were incarcerated, even if you have the location wrong. So that's 10 extra points. No, no, no. It's one no bonus you have to get, get all 10. You have to get, you have to get all 10. It's a hard bonus. You I'm actually all curious 10 to, to get see one if point. anyone knows all 10. So it's, you have to come up with well, that. Well, it's a hard bonus, but it's a bonus, guys. I don't have to give you a bonus. So I yeah, can get fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got this, you guys. We got this. We got this. Then ignore it. Yeah, it's, it's, don't okay. try, don't try to do it. It's cool. <laughs> Everybody take a deep breath. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, it's really not uh, that complicated. It's, it's okay like, to do things a little different once in a while. It's yeah, fine. yeah. No, and as you go through, actually, quite a few of you might know a whole lot of them. So go ahead and you know, yeah, guess, we're, we're on team guess, and guess those reasons, you know, yeah. and you have the group to come up with, and maybe just maybe one group will actually be able to come up with 10, you know. A reason for all to all why all those 10 people and were, then you have to say is the reason what the imprisoners said it was or is it the actual reason in some cases it might not be the same answer so that's why is it a difficult in question? with a deep breath out with a deep breath we can just, <laughs> go ahead so you finish just off. Say the reason course. somebody is detained whether it's just or not there is a reason someone isn't detained there is a specific reason right for all so don't argue with people. her letter okay letter it's thing. not a Oh, uh, you know, a philosophical question. <laughs> There's a specific <laughs> reason all of these people were to take, right. you know. Right. We can philosophically just, argue that injustice. point some other time, but go ahead. No, no, there is a specific reason that all these people were detained. Right. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oof, don't, let him, don't let them draw you in. Just, just go that with wasn't it. supposed okay. to be that complicated. Okay. So yeah. anything different potential is always locations of detain <laughs> of, uh, of incarceration. Okay. Hey. All right. So places of incarceration include, so I, you know, numbered the first oh, letter. Does, okay. Oh, A, 
Oh gosh, darn it, I have to push that airplane. <laughs> okay, places of incarceration. A, Alcatraz. B, Bong Kwan Central Prison. C, exile to the penal colony of Australia. D, Hoa Lo Prison. E, Monterey County Jail. Okay, and I'll give you a bunch more just in a second. Okay, I ended on Monterey County Jail. Okay. Okay. F. Federal Correction Institution in Latuna, Texas. G, Kingston House of Correction. H, Manzanar. I, oh dear, pronunciation on that. Nangp Yi Twa Prison. J, Rikers Island. As a bonus, could you say Donald Trump? <laughs> that could be our wish, right? <laughs> we can predict where he's going to serve time. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> oh, if okay, I... and then the final five locations. K, Victor um, Verse... How would you say that? Verster Prison, L. San Quentin, M. Salinas Jail, N. Sing Sing, and O. Tower of London. Okay. Uh, I do have a question for you. Can yes. we assume that we are not reusing any of those? Correct. Correct. So there are the 10 individuals. All of them were at one point in one of those 15 locations and not two. There are some of those individuals who were incarcerated in two locations, but only one that's on that list of 15. Okay, and then again, for the bonus, if you just happen to be able to come up with, you know, a reason for each one of those 10 people, why? Okay. All right. We got it. Okay. Any, any so we are not something? free on the 4th of July, those particular 10 individuals right. at one time. Anytime we do something a little bit new, people have a little anxiety. <laughs> a little it, issues. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll get, we're going to get through. I know it was a hard bonus, but I didn't think it was a complicated one to understand. Well, not complicated it's too big. because we agreed before that one answer for one point, not multiple answers for one point. Yeah, it should be any. Why were any of these individuals? But oh, that's too it's easy. It's no, okay. no, that's then you easy. shouldn't do a bonus then. It would be way too easy. If she that did. would be way too easy. All right, so let's move on. Go ahead and send this to our room, Celia. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. And I need to go to a room. Oh, bye, bye, bye. Oh, get a room, Adrian. <laughs> 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 or Susan. I should say Susan. Yeah. You're welcome in hours. I think the who, is I it think Ethan you're going to go to three. To send us, yeah. You better change your name. It's going to get confusing with two Susans here. I like being Susan, though. Ah, She's a powerful woman. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing devil. I oh, am. Yeah. So, Susan, I think I'm supposed to be in room one, according to the scores. Nope, you're in three. Okay. Sounds yeah, we need, we need I you I just here. put somebody in room one because of the scores, so. Gotcha. All yeah. right, so I know a couple of these. Is it just us? I guess so. Well, that's that why was, you're in here, this room. That, was that unnecessarily confusing? Was that unnecessarily confusing? The, no, uh... no, when people start questioning, I got it. But people say, yeah, Vincent's gone. Celia's um, yeah. in uh the category and carolyn's gone so yeah you definitely need to be so here. It's good, to, good i'm in here then yeah okay so i know asu uh, asan susi so see she was in um myanmar so which one is that uh probably the not the Nap prison yeah 
I guess that's in Myanmar. It sounds like and, a in Myanmar. I'm, and I'm throwing a guess that uh, number uh, number three, uh, Charles Ng, would yeah. would be would be uh, B. B. Uh, uh, only because that sound that sounds uh, he's sounds, an, like, he's it sounds like be Vietnamese or or, no, or no, Cambodian. No, no. Charles Ning is that guy who murdered a whole bunch of women up in up California. In, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, so yeah. it's not. Oh, so he's not yeah. South. No, he's from California, and yeah, he, yeah. it was awful. I think he's. I think he's either. I think he must be Alcatraz. It was Alcatraz? When did they, when did they close Alcatraz? Oh, I was going to say that I think Alcatraz would have been closed. I thought that closed in the eighties. But he wasn't caught till the nineties. Oh, so then it wouldn't be Alcatraz. Okay. So... I mean, I'm not hundred percent sure of that. I was thinking like. Um, oh, I would send him to Australia. Laundry County Jail. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's not it. So it's probably the. It can't be federal. And Rikers is in New York, so it wouldn't be Rikers that. So it's San Quentin. San Quentin L. Okay. Okay, and the second one is uh, Cesar Chavez. So he was he was in a building just about three blocks from me. No, about six blocks from me. He's in he's in the Salinas jail. That's where I took my picture. My um. Where I took the the photo of me is Nosferatu. I'm standing. So is that at the Monterey? Is that the Monterey? Oh, no, it's Salinas. Salinas. Monterey. She threw that in to confuse us because he he was he was just right. And that's M. <laughs> M is in mother. That's M is in mom. Okay, yeah. David Harris. Who was who was Peter Tosh? I, his name came up recently. I saw it that's somewhere. Recent. I thought, I thought he was a singer and writer. Isn't he a British guy? Yeah, he's that you're thinking of. I know who you're thinking of, Alan, but that's John, John Tesh or something John, like yeah, that. John yeah, John Tesh, probably. Because yeah, <laughs> I, I was thinking, I was thinking, holy macro, this guy is the. I, I thought he just sang and played piano. Okay, so <laughs> do we know who David Harris is? Uh, David Harris, which one is he? Number four. Number four? I don't know. Do you, do you know, Alan, who David Harris is? I know he wasn't a Canadian prime minister. <laughs> I, I it doesn't even ring a bell. Albert Fish does ring a bell. Was he another murderer? Don't know. What about that first guy? Did we decide on Ong Sang Sui? A woman. Oh, he was in Na N A Y P Y I T A W prison, I believe. I think that's okay. in Myanmar. I uh, okay, perfect. And um, so Albert Fish. I know that name sounds very like I should know who that is. Um, okay, Janine Wartuski. Do you know who that is? I'm gonna take the ones out that are definitely not right. Okay, so I know I'm jumping ahead, but do you guys know where Nelson Mandela was? He, he was, was in South Africa. Africa. No, I know that, but what, what, uh, what? I'm prison? guessing it would be something like the Kingston House of Correction because it's very British sounding. Yeah, that sounds right. Because, because I'm looking at what's left over and there's not that much left over. Yeah. So that's not Salinas not... and it's not Monterey County. No. It's not how low. I doubt it's it was Texas. The penal colony of Australia. <laughs> no. So I think he's okay. Yeah, I think you're right. Kingston House of Correction. Mary Wade. Could she, she have been one she's... of those people who went to um, Australia? Isn't she a, a comic character? It's Mary Worth. I, I, yeah, it's Mary Worth. I don't know where she wouldn't be, but I have a feeling she is somebody who was sent to Australia. That sounds familiar. Sounds good. Okay. Uh oh, here's another one. This is scary. So, Asu Asu Sang Sushi. I wonder if it could have been How Wo Prison. That sounds Korean or like something. Yeah, we could have had. Sorry, that. I'm sorry. Which yeah. name are you? Which name are you looking at? Number one. Okay, she oh. she's a political prisoner in in Myanmar. So I didn't notice this other one. How Wo Prison. So nay. I don't know. Well, so it would be that probably. one or B, B or D, B or D. No, because central prison doesn't make sense. No, I or D. 
I or D? Yeah. I Why don't... am I? Because it sounds like it's something from, from that area of the world. Yeah, but so does Bang Kwan Central Prison. Oh, it sounds made up, though. Well, I, I, she didn't say they were made up. She didn't the other... say they were made Yeah. Well, it could be ba Bang Kwan. Yeah, it could be. Oh, great. Now we have three choices. Okay, Peter Tosh. Okay, Machine Gun Kelly was probably in. Bang, but how low and Bang Kwan to me sound Chinese or not um, my, Myanmar? Myanmar. Okay, so so Machine Gun Kelly very likely was at Alcatraz or Sing Sing. And I think it, I've been through Alcatraz. I'm trying to remember if I if he was there as a famous person. I, I'm leaning towards Sing Sing. Yeah, let's. I think so. I don't know why. Where but is I Sing Sing? Is that New York? Yes. Okay. So, J Jeanette or Torinsky, Albert Fish. I wonder if Albert Fish was in the Tower of London. Of everything that's left over, I think, I think, I'm going to say Tower of London, unless you guys have a. Or the version it to sounds very English. Yeah, five sounds like it's O. And I feel like I should know who Albert Fish is, but I don't know. Yeah, so I've heard of him as well. So I think Tower of London is a good okay. guess. And Peter Tosh. No idea. David Harris. And you said Mary Wade was uh, exiled to Australia, right? That sounds familiar. Okay. I don't know why, but it would make sense. Let's go with it. Okay, so what we have left is David Harris and Janine. And Waratsuki. So I think Janine Waratsuki, I mean, she sound, that sounds very Japanese. And that Napia Ta sounds Japanese as well. I think Bang Kwan and Haolo Prison maybe are more me and Myanmar, even though I said something opposite. So I think Janine should be the I. Okay, so we're moving Janine to I. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, I'm just, you know. And then we're going to make Asang Susi Shi. Either Bang Kwan or Haolo Prison. So which one, Alan, do you like for Myanmar, if that's where she... Uh, I, I, which sounds like it'd be Myanmar. How Myanmarish um, central prison? It's what? On hang on. What was the former name of Myanmar? Uh, Burma. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I knew this. Well done. <laughs> Something stuck somewhere. Uh, maybe did we did we give anybody the Bang Kwang thing no. yet? We have not. So do you want the Bang Kwang? Let's go with the Bang uh, yeah, Kwang. Yeah, I have a thing for Bang Kwang. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> you guys can't hear the fireworks over here. It's getting, it's not even dark. No, we've got, uh, we've got them going on. I can't hear them because we've got them next door here. So Yeah. Okay, so David Harris, it's a very American sounding yes. or bland sounding thing. So it Sounds like an actor. Oh, what about Rikers Island? For for. David Harris. Well, that's that's in that's the New York one, not Sing Sing. I'm not sure where Sing Sing is. Okay, well, Sing Sing is America. I know that. Yeah, for sure. It uh, might be New York as well. Rikers yeah, Island. Is, Kelly is probably at Sing Sing. Well, Rikers Island, I think, is like in New York, New York. It's it like is. It's more, really uh, send, uh, it's more of a holding cell, like they before they get shipped off to where they need to be. I've never heard of Victor Wurster Prison. Does any does that ring a bell to anybody? So we should pick it. <laughs> what about the federal correctional institution in latuna texas i mean why would she even pick that i like peter tosh with that um that because that one you just said sounds very english victor verster prison. prison okay let's yeah. put peter tosh for that poor guy he's getting put over there well uh, that i who did you give i to i went uh, jean, to jean jean waratsuki Sounds that because that to me does not sound Japanese. That's why I was wondering where it's uh, Suki does. 
but that nai pai uh, no talk. but the the, the 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 jail doesn't uh, right. um, fair enough yeah that's fine okay and so i'm wondering have... if she would have been if possibly uh a uh, world war ii spy and oh. so would have been put into an american uh, uh an american facility or something I've never heard of her you know, I think you may be right. I think I read about her in James Fell's book. Oh, now, if you get this wrong, you're going to be in serious trouble. So, and yeah, so she, she could have ended up, she could have ended up in Australia. Or, no, she Except no. that when they're if talking it about in, it. If it was in the war, it would have been in an American prison. So it could have been yeah, the Texas true. or and the Rikers was, Island, in, Texas. I'm thinking up in America, when they talk about penal colony of Australia, that would have been going way back. Because yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's was. Where yeah. Was. For federal so, correction. So, which one has women? Does Sing Sing have women, or we already? No, got no. Some? Let's give her to federal correction in Latuna. That sounds. I good. like that one too. I like Let's that. Let's do idea. that because that sounds like it'd be a federal crime. Yeah, and and uh, that makes sense because Jean is a very American name, and the last name is not, and that makes total sense, Alan. That was a good catch. Yeah. Okay. We're doing one. Well. We're probably we need one more, and then we we're need done. one more. Oh, all right. Okay, so you can close the rooms because you get two minutes. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. So, and I want to be in my correct room when I close. No, no, it, it doesn't matter anymore because you oh, keep yeah. powers throughout the whole game. Oh, okay. So no, it was a problem one time. Yeah, yeah. it used to be. Right. Now that's why I, that I actually I'm wondering if that is more for something on Myanmar name. Well, that's the that's other. the one I put first for Myanmar, but I think we're, I think the other one B is better. All right. Well, you know, it's like it's a flip of a coin, you know. Yes, know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, well, David Harris, where do you guys want? We have Alcatraz, no. Hanglo. Well, being in Monterey is feel like being in jail, isn't it? No, not at all. So, <laughs> Manzanar is where they held the, the Jewish, I mean, not the Jewish, the Japanese prisoners. Uh, people who oh, were where? prisoners. In, where? in the US? Yeah, it was in California. Well, that it, that maybe that's where that Jean, that Jean Weratsuki should go. Then. Oh. What's the name? What's the name of the place? H. H. It's an uh, internment camp. The only camp. thing is, the only thing is, the uh, was she prison? If she was being prison for being a spy? No, no, I don't think so. She was a Japanese. Oh, she was interned. She was a Japanese. Okay, that's different. If you're you, in, yeah, the, you know who interned. else was there? You know who else was yeah. in? Um, is um. Uh, could she, could she, was she a was she an activist? I don't know. So so they they accused her of being a spy, and she wasn't. I so she was she could very well have been like a Japanese activist. Hey, we got fifty though. seconds. No, she wasn't. Quick, she wasn't. Quick, quick, All right. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. But so David but Harris. If, then for let's do. Why don't we do the tuna Texas one then? The Luna tuna tuna. <laughs> what what letter was that H? That was F. Okay, because I've gotten rid of it. Tuna tuna Texas. I like that. <laughs> Okay, so that makes I'm sense. Proud I think of we gotta... up with that one. Read them real quick, Adrian. So number one is the only one that I still have two for. I have I or B. B. Uh, B. Okay. So B M, M L, L F O H N C G K. Okay, we're on the same page. All right. <laughs> Good job, team. Nice work, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Peggy, just fill those last two Yay. in. We know what what you'll write. That was actually fun. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, for so. a, probably we didn't even get to the bonus. There was no way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I have those answers, and that's what, of course, I thought was interesting mm. about it. So, um, several weeks ago, um, I don't know why it came up in my mind, but um, several years ago, when I was in um, South Africa. I toured Robin Islands. It's one of the tourist things to do when you're in Cape Town. And, and then I was thought about like Alcatraz and all these other famous or infamous prisons that have now become tourist sites because of who was there or whatever. And then I thought, oh, you know, where people have been in prison, that could be a trivia category. It's a good, um, you actually have two categories. You could do the bonus one is a totally other category sometimes. Well, for for Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, Karen. But machine yeah, thanks Kelly, a lot, Karen. Kelly, did you use the gangster or the rapper? There was two people named Machine Gun Kelly. Was the rapper in jail? Yes, they both served time. 
The rapper was in jail. Oh no, you're kidding me. Okay, I meant Mr. the gangster. Of some sort. Mr. Meaner of some sort. I meant probably, the gangster. Probably something like drugs. I knew there were the two names, but again, that's why I said, you know, that they were all. But I, I don't know where either one of them in went. Just you know, on they were all imprisoned at some point. And then I did, you know, I did make the clarification that some of them may have been imprisoned in two different places or two different methods or means or whatever like that, or two different sentences, it's okay. whatever. Let's see if we get and, it right. And yeah, only one ahead. was written there. Go ahead. Okay, so. All right, let's, oh, I got to pull copy and paste again. And I need to put a, where's the, I lost my chat. Where did the, oh, there it is. I okay. know they always disappear on me too. All these things disappear on me all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to pull up the document again. It was there and it disappeared. Okay, let me get down to answers. Okay. All right, so I'll put in a few answers at first because I know there'll be, while she's thinking about it, you guys start thinking about who's going to be up next week, okay? Besides the Jamie. Okay, at least I've got started on a couple here. Let's see. Paste and hit the send thingy. Okay, so answers. One is I. On song oh, we went back and forth on that. Yeah. Um, I knew who she is. I know where she was. I know right, she, where right. she's from. Now, this was, this was another one of those that was kind of tricky because she was under house arrest for many, many, many yeah, years. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then she became prime minister. But specifically, like I say, there were house arrest. I, did, I didn't have it on the list for that reason. Originally, I did have somebody who was on house arrest, someone else. And they're, oh, no, that'd be confusing. So I didn't list the house arrest. But Onion Suchi... Um, Democratically elected prime minister of Miramar was imprisoned at, how do you say that? Maybe Jamie can help me. <laughs> um, Nag thank you, prison. Anyway, that was where she was put at the time of the coup in February, 2021. Yeah. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Is that correct, Jamie? Yes, she is. Yeah. So Good job really, with that one, Mark. A long time for Good. someone who was you know, democratically elected. It's just very, very unjust. Um, so you'll see, I need to make a few political points on some people that were unjust. Now, speaking of the, speaking of political prisons, <laughs> number two, M, uh, Cesar yeah. Chavez was imprisoned in the Monterey County Jail for, quote, according to Wikipedia, the contempt of court for violating the injunction against United Farm Workers Lettuce Boycott. Oh, wasn't the concept of court? <laughs> no, so let me ask you something, Celia, because I know he's he I'm was sorry, in the jail on Al Asal, just a few blocks from me. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was the Salinas jail. There I, is no Salinas jail. That is the Monterey thank County you. jail. Oh, thank so you. We got it wrong. And, and that was a and I, I and I did purposely put that in it to be tricky. I figured one of them was because I thought that was going to be way too easy for the, the no County no city here. No cities in no city in Monterey County has a uh, jail. jail. They have holding areas, and then they all go to the Monterey County Jail. Gee, thanks, Karen, for knowing yeah. So that. that was that was a mean one. I admit. <laughs> I know it's I knew on that was too easy on you, for you guys in Salinas. If the Salinas guys... Jail is Susan's basement. Where no, she if you saw, victims. if you've seen the picture of me posing as Nosferatu with no hair and all that, I'm standing in front of the doorway of that. Where That's the old jail, Salinas. The, the jail, the actual jail is on Natividad and it's not on yeah. Alfa. The old one is just a historical relic. Well, oh well. Sorry, team. I, it's in Salinas. <laughs> and you knew why. <laughs> uh, okay, so where were we? Oh, Three. L. Uh, Charles Ning is uh, currently on death row. In San Quentin for God, the he's still on death row of eleven people. I thought the I thought that when they extradited him, they couldn't put him on death row. They couldn't give him the death sentence because he was in Canada. That's what he did. Oh, he God, just him. nuke the dude. Well, that's one of the issues with death row is that people stay on it for a really long time. Um, anyway, uh, number four. Now, this one I find particularly interesting. Um, little. Uh, F uh, four is F. David Harris, who was Joan Baez's husband at the time, a uh -huh. civil rights and anti-war activist, 
uh, was imprisoned in the Federal Correction Institution of Latuna, Texas, for military draft resistance. He um, he was a, a, a big organizer for what he called military resistance. He didn't call it draft dodging because he actively resisted. He sort of actually almost in a way, I'm sure he was arrested as an, an example because he made a point of uh, um, not just burning the draft card, but he actually mailed it back in, you know, <laughs> a big statement for why he was, you know, so he is not even having his conscious objection application rejected, but that he uh, made a big point of, you know, of saying that, Baez's husband, that, so this of is course. wrong. Yes. And tragically, I, I don't know. I think this is very sad. Uh, she was pregnant with their child at the time. So he was not able to be there at the birth and missed the, the his own son's first two years of life. He oh, man. Imprisoned. Well, at least he didn't have to go to war. He was imprisoned for two years for... Mm -hmm for draft people were pissed off so, to me yeah. that was just hor horrific he should have said he had shin splints or ankle spurs i'm telling you i just <laughs> yeah anyway no but he made this whole point he he kind of you yeah know, turning the draft dodge and making it well known and he was on tv and you know all of that and um <clears throat> anyway so I, I wanted to include him him there in his story i, I, I never like, heard of him i'm glad I think to it's hear worth, he didn't have to change knowing. diapers and he didn't he missed all the teething <laughs> It's the first two years of his son's life. It's tragic. So yeah, this the son uh Gabrielle Harris is John Baez's child. He 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 went on later after he got out of jail. You know, they got divorced. He did marry again and have other children. And he actually became quite a prominent journalist. Quite the mm -hmm. the career in journalism, too. So there we go. So my 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 salute to uh David Harris. He is a current hero of mine um and one of those i feel is unjustly in prison can you imagine a federal prison you know a prison because you don't want to kill people three three states away exactly exactly um number five n albert fish the legendary serial killer was executed at Sin Sin in 19. Oh, sorry, team. I said Tower of London because I the name sounded familiar, but I couldn't think of what. Different, different. Uh, Albert Fish. Was there a Albert Fish that was prominent in the in uh, like? Uh, yeah, I don't know if his name was Albert, but I knew there was a fish during uh, at Henry. Uh, Henry VIII executed. Yeah, it was uh, Gefilte Fish. <laughs> no, it sounded familiar. Okay, sorry. Okay, and the next one, um, I heard lots of great discussion about this one. So this is a another one I feel sort of proud of putting in there. Another one that was restrained unjustly, and that is a six um H, a uh, Jean ah, Watasuki was interned at Manzanar when she was a child. So she wasn't, I heard some discussion about whether, you know, she was a spy or a activist or something. No, she was a child mm. and turned with her parents in uh, Manzanar. She uh, grew up, you know, before that they were in San Francisco and they were taken to Manzanar, which is a Japanese internment camp um, in in the East Sierras in, in California. Oh, I've read her book. I think I've read this Recently, book. Recently, I read her book, but I didn't remember the name. So she wrote- Oh, she wrote I her, had that book. Her memoir of the experience, Farewell to Manzanar, which frequently required reading in California public schools. And I'm gonna assign it to all of you because it's an awesome, incredible book. And it's short, it's very short and it's very, it's very, you know, I wouldn't say light reading because it's the subject matter, but it's easy language. It's often um, read in like middle school. So it's, you know, you hear all that, that Susan, that, yeah. that level of reading. And it's, um, it's just, it's just a, a wonderful little book. Really. You'll thank me. Oh later. my God. You right can here. read it quickly. Um, and it's, and it's just a, a great, a great little recording of that. I must horrible, have it somewhere. Horrible injustice done. I picked it up bit. after we visited Mansonar. I didn't know it was <laughs> commonly required in school. Yeah, I, think I it's just there somewhere. Right? Someplace. Mm -hmm. God, the sound of these. God, my cats are. Yeah, sick because it makes sense because it's a kid. 
It's almost like the Diary of Anne Frank. It was easy to it read, is. too. It, it was is. a short yeah. book, and it was easy to read. So that's another reason why they would have signed it. It's very yeah. sh it's very short and easy to read. And, um, yeah, and then there's a lot of things, obviously, that you can discuss in the class. I mean, it's a wonderful, you know, yeah. uh, class reading. Um, um, and just Susan, really well when you, Susan, when oh. you were comment, you know, saying about the noise... Those are my neighbors right over my back fence that are doing No, that. but they sound like the they're fireworks. right. They sound on the it's other the side. the neighbors right over my back fence. Wow, because they sound like they're on the other side of the street. Fireworks? They like they're my neighbor. Mm. Okay. okay, moving along. There could be many. I hope. I know yeah, I think you're going to attempt to try to be able to get all 10 answers, but I hope people at least tried to figure some of the some of the reasons because that's what makes this interesting. Um, number seven, A, Machine Gun Kelly or George Kelly Barnes. It's a famous <laughs> bootlegger and gangster spent 17 years at Alcatraz for kidnapping. Put that Why'd in you the- talk um, me out of that one? Oh, wait, I didn't I said sing sing. send again. I'm sorry. There. I said it was Sing Sing, darn it. Um, and then number eight, this was a really funny one. <laughs> This is one I didn't know till I started to research on this. Um, eight, uh, C, Mary Wade is believed oh. to be the youngest British citizen exiled to Australia at the age of 11 for I... stealing another girl's clothing. Yeah, yeah, we got that one right. Is that nuts or what? Yeah, they, um, they wanted to get rid of him, that's for sure. She was sometimes called the mother of Australia because she had 21 children and thus an ancestor to many current Australians. Ah, yeah. Interesting. Many, 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 many descendants. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Oh. I mean, 11-year-old. My God. How, you know, boy, talk about penal punishment. Jeez. Well, probably actually one kids. Life. That's a lot of was the punishment. was the uh, the tennis player Virginia was it Virginia Wade was she Australian? Oh, I I don't Virginia know Wade. I wonder if she's uh she's a I descendant. I'm sure this. Oh, I thought she was. Yeah. I thought she was British. I, I I I couldn't remember whether she was British or Australian. Yeah. Okay, and then Nelson Mandela. Um, I knew Robin Island was going to be too easy. <laughs> um. So. Um. Uh, after he was in Robben Island, he was transferred to Victor Verster Prison. Verster. So he was in Robben Island for 18 years. I uh, wouldn't have known then, that. And then he was transferred to Victor Verster Prison. It's, it the, sounds on, like on the, the Swedish chef would say it. The Victor Verstin. And oh. um, according to Wikipedia, the charge that got him into, you know, we all know it's called fighting apartheid. So if he did attempt to get all 10 of them, I would accept, you know, political imprisonments. And I would, I would have been very broad on that. But according to Wikipedia, the charge that, that, that he was convicted on and sent to Robben Island for was conspiracy to overthrow the government. Um, okay. And I will say that if you're in Cape Town, Robben Island is worth attending. And one of the things that I found impressive about it was that all the um, guides at Robben Island um, are former prisoners themselves. Ooh. And that definitely gives a very personal touch on it. So at that time, Robben Islands was strictly uh, for political prisoners who were black or what they called colored. The white political prisoners, there were there were some fighting against apartheid, were sent to a different prison. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Can you guys hear all the the noises from? No, Zoom cuts out that. They're doing of it thing. here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing. Oh my gosh, Karen can hear it. Yes. Oh. Oh, I've got it out my window. So... Dark. I think I've heard oh. here a few here. And my cats are sitting at my feet. Pacific Grove. They're not meowing yeah. and they're not hiding, but they're sitting like want to be right next to me. We have okay. natural fireworks happening right now in Calgary. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's lightning. not even your Independence Day. No, it's lightning. <laughs> I, I like that oh, kind, Adrian. Uh, that's my that's favorite funny. kind. It's very loud they, right as now. As long as they don't start forest fires, I'm all for that. Yeah. Yeah. Number 10, G is Peter Tosh, the reggae star, member of Bob Marley and the Whalers, oh, and the songwriter of Legalize It. <laughs> <You know what laughs> it was. 
Oh, we reversed the last two. In prison in Kingston House of Correction on cannabis charges. Um, How stupid. (laughs) God, we did a lot of stupid. But I guess in a way he kind of asked for that if he writes a song called Legalize It. (laughs) Kind of Willie Willie Nelson level. Uh, Tragically much later, um, he was uh, he was murdered. Um, oh, but it was cool. He was he was cool. He was he was a great songwriter. He yeah, was right. he great was songwriter and a good a great musician. And uh, and he was besides writing that song a great advocate for legalizing cannabis. It was a a, a crusade and cause of his. And I found out <laughs> the research for this that there's that there are cannabis legalization organizations that uh that consider him a great hero oh uh-huh. is that cannabis in rob's picture just waving in the wind there in the body? <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> giant cannabis and as a canadian you should know you can grow up to four of those plants in your own home they don't look like that <laughs> Squish no. that, was a, that was an interesting category we have not done anything like that before i learned a lot Good job. I thought Go it was I thought it was interesting. Very interesting. All right. Yeah, so I, I just sports. thought it was really interesting when I thought, gosh, some prisons are now tourist sites because of who they were imprisoned. You just usually unfairly, you know, like Robin Island. Um, so it sort of came to me. So I got to did a little you guys are always research. so cr- the the categories and stuff, the things you did. I tell you, you guys, you do a wonderful job with different creative ideas and it's kind of fun that it was a coincidence but it's kind of it's kind of fun in a way that we're holding on on the fourth of july when we're celebrating freedom and justice and you could think well that's not always not always the case Mm -hmm. okay so stormy daniels is welcome my house anytime we got eight Oh, our team kept getting things mixed up. We had made really good arguments and we had great discussions, but I think we got a lot of them mixed up. Forget the Supreme Court. Celia is fixated on Hurricane Barrel. What did we get, Adrian? We got six. No, four. I wish it was six. Yeah, we really we had the right answer. <laughs> make, it, make it five. We yeah. it. We'll average it out and take five. <laughs> we, 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 we talked yourself out of a lot. Yeah, well, the last two we were completely reversed, too. Yeah. So. Team yeah. thrombosis? We got seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. And slow nose, we slew slow nose. The two the two the two of us. So we don't have a team name. But we the two of us got one. Oh which we which had to, if it if it was the other, if you had done it with what they did, we'd have gotten a four. Uh-huh. And okay, most eight. people are working the 4th of July fire. Which eight. one did you get right? Eight. We got eight. I don't remember. I have to look. We, we, get we would have we just done again. much better for the bonus if Mary was a prostitute instead of just selling or stealing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. We didn't get a bonus. All right. Good job, Celia. So now you can put yourself in your own room. I'm not taking your I'm, powers I'm, away from I'm you. Always, um, I'm always curious in which when I've done these. You know which ones people get right and which not, and you know it's 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 always really interesting. We, we got out. We got. And if out you get just Alcatraz. one right, Celia. I'm like, oh my Celia? goodness, which one oh, was yeah. that? I'm answering your question, Celia. We got one right. We got Alcatraz. Yeah, that's the one we got right. Oh wow, that's interesting. I wouldn't have thought if you got just one that that would. I wouldn't have thought that. Well, we took ten wild guesses and we got one out of ten. So there we go. <laughs> and the next person <laughs> is. All right, so I want to take uh, just a second to make sure that everybody knows in game 223, which is next Thursday, Adrian's going to be running the 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 mm-hmm. whole thing. I'm going to be at uh, the Magic Castle, so I will not even be able to pop in because I will be in the castle and not able to do that. So we have Rob and we have Jamie, who's re- agreed to give us categories next week. So if we could have two more and a bonus, I would... Appreciate cat that. bonus cat bonus <laughs> you, you want me to do a bonus well i know yeah. you already have one ready so that's why i do have a bonus ready but we'll see if i'm invited back after my category tonight. <laughs> okay so i'm putting uh, her uh, down for bonus for next week so i do I, need to I, I, I got around 
<laughs> okay, Kevin's got around. All right. The next well, week. That's perfect. Thank you. So I just need one more and you could volunteer in a couple seconds. Let's let's go ahead. We'll move on. Go ahead, um, Kat. I thought somebody was before me. Who's in room three? I think aren't I dead last tonight? No, it's no, uh, we're not last. I still have another one too. We oh, to yeah, you're next. It's just late. We have two the, more to the go. The numbers are different because we started with bonus. Sweet. Let me take you. It's the fourth of July. To my, my special place, and I will get started. No, oh, I this is your special place. Well, you know, somewhere where I have a surface that I can actually <laughs> cut and paste on. Okay. So y'all might hate me for this. No, we won't hate you. Yeah, we. Oh, will. you might, because this this no, could be will. like a, a lighthouse category. Um, cool. But it's gonna be funny. So I'm expecting super low scores, but hopefully lots of laughs. If we can manage that, we could use some laughs right now. But now I think. Right. Yeah. So you designed the northernmost lighthouse. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, <laughs> architect. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, okay. This it's called badly translated movie titles. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm going to give you the name of Kyle a poorly translated like title mm -hmm. and you give me the proper name. Why do you think that I would be the one that really wouldn't like that? You said because oh, you I... like low scores, and this is oh, be not a very because I was good round. at it. <laughs> oh, I thought it was because it's going to be a category on uh, something I knew. So, like an example of this would be in Argentina, they call this movie Vaseline, they and the answer Vaseline? is Greece. Oh, okay. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, just like uh, a Carl uh, thing. Uh, it's like <laughs> Carl's it's a poorly said. translated movie. Okay, so you all got the premise. Yeah. Yep. So, well, so I'm. So, are the bad translations in English? Yes. Yes. So they're movies that were in English, but they played someplace else, and they give it a different name. They give it a different name. But like, supposedly uh, that name would be in a different language then. Yes. And in some instances, I give you the other language, but I give you the English translation. The we'll English translation of what yes. they call yes. it yes. in that so for it. circle, full circle. So like. Encino Man, in England, they called it California Man because in England, they don't know what an That's Encino okay. is, Okay, right? Mm -hmm. so, I think uh, we've had a category in this. We did. Kyle did this. Long time ago. So another example with, in a TV show equivalent. Don't, like don't give any examples because it might That's be one of hers. Celia, but... <laughs> What's a TV show? Don't, but don't. She might have done it. I didn't do any TV shows. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. I'm just going to say what it got translated to into Spanish was not the literal English. right they right. called it right. something different yes yes so, so this but, is but you want the english from us i want the proper name that we know it of in north america okay what it was yeah. released oh, canada as. included not just us we got it Go ahead. Right. you guys are over yeah, we understand it let's go mute everybody mute and you go all, you know i love you but i'll mute you all okay <laughs> this will be fun <laughs> they're impossible so <laughs> in italy watch me butcher some italian here in <laughs> italy it's called Tutui in a semi apasionante, or altogether passionately. The same movie in Portuguese is titled Musica no something or other, I don't know Portuguese, which is translated into English meaning music in the heart. I would like the proper name of that movie. If anyone gets it, I will be so proud of you. <laughs> All right, question two. In Hong Kong, this 2010 movie was translated as the happy dumpling to be who talks and solves agricultural <laughs> problems. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? It is. I don't know. We'll see what the English is. I want to see that, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of laughter, good conversation. This is what we need. Nobody yeah. needs points. <laughs> this 1968 movie was retitled please do not touch the old women in italy <laughs> unless That's you wonderful. ask unless you ask you consent first for some reason my quotation marks didn't show up but it, it should be touch the old lady in italy 
or does please it do mean not touch the old women is the name Italian. of the movie in Italy. Okay, so it's not ah, old Italian it's like, women. Well, I'm sorry, it's like what, it's what, too many people speaking. What, so I didn't hear. Say just cat. What was the what was your correction? Please do not touch the old women is the name of the movie in Italy. Okay. It it didn't. Um, it's not old women in Italy. The quotes didn't, didn't come well. through. My quotation marks did not come through on that one. Hmm. For some reason, so, my so quotation marks be, and apostrophes be, are not coming out at all. In Italy, this 1960 movie was retitled "Please Don't Touch yes. the Old Woman." Okay. So I'm I'm throwing in some quotes here because although I'm pasting it, it's not showing them up. And this one, you really do want the quotes. So. <laughs> In Hong Kong, big dumb monkey man keeps whacking tree with genitals. <laughs> was named The Jungle Died Laughing in Israel. I would like the proper name of that movie, please. <laughs> you can see why I had to pause and put in quotation marks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So number five, <laughs> help my pretend boyfriend is gay, <laughs> was full of Hollywood heavyweights in 1990. Oh, I bet they were. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. I know you're uh -huh. going to get all of these right. I can't believe you guys can hear it. Wow. Zoom is cutting all that out. That's amazing. No, we can't hear a thing. I can't tell because it's the right side from outside my house doing it. I can't tell where it's coming from. Yeah, oh. I was going to have the same thought. I'm hearing them, but I think they're out my window. Yeah, mine feel like they're... Go ahead, Kat. I'm drunk and you're a prostitute. Both lead <laughs> actor and actress were nominated for Oscars oh. and the actor won. <laughs> wow. I'm a drunk and you're a prostitute. I'm a drunk and you're a prostitute. <laughs> you know i get you the best things don't i this, this i is understand if you revoke my invitation next week <laughs> no, I, no 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 this is good i'm not sure how this 1997 jack nicholson movie was retitled mr cat <laughs> in mandarin there are a few theories but none of them fully explain it to me <laughs> so would you go to see mr cat poop Yep. Well, <laughs> seven-year-old boys would. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> this holiday movie was titled Mi Porbe Angelito, My Poor Little Angel in Spain. And yeah, I'm not Spanish either, so I butchered that. I'm butchering all the foreign languages today. But it's fun, because listen to me butcher them. Mi um, <laughs> oh, hey, it, Copied my ex my quotation marks. Finland titled this Oscar-nominated movie Rita Hayworth, Avian Pakum. I don't know Finnish, which <laughs> translated into English means Rita Hayworth, Key to Escape. The hint I will give you here. No, all... no, no, no. We don't need a hint. You don't want a hint for that? <laughs> no. Okay, I won't no. give you a hint. <clears throat> we, don't need a... we don't need a hint. Obviously. Karen knows the answer to this, and so um, I expect a 10 from her team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the final question for you is, the Chinese were absolutely genius when they retitled this movie, His Great, or Powerful, depending on the translation, Device Makes Him Famous. <laughs> Are there any questions before I send you all to your rooms? I am detecting a theme. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Dirty little theme. Very good. Dirty little theme. You've been filthy. Go to your rooms. <laughs> uh -huh. We've had a couple of these before. Yeah. So I'm, I think we might be okay. All right. Kevin's screen? Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. Music. Okay. music. I have a guess for this one, Found but I want to hear what you guys. That's what I thought my guess was. Sound of music? That's my guess. That's what I was, yeah. was going to say. Sound of music. 
the happy dumpling to be who talks and solves agricultural problems. It's Babe, Babe the Pig. Babe. Oh, very Dumpling. good. Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I, saw, I liked the movie. It was really good. Oh, I liked it too, but I didn't. Please. Never would have gotten that. That could be wrong. <laughs> it's a good guess. I like it. That number one was really hard. And we got well, that. We could be wrong. We must be because that was easy. <laughs> Please do not touch the old women. 68 movie. Um, What's the one with the pills? Were they... I was oh, thinking of arsenic and old lace, but no, no, the women who eat pill, who who take too many pills, it's Valley it of the Doll, Valley of the Dolls, Valley of the Dolls. That was a great period, yeah. Sixty-eight. Yeah, I know it came out around that year. Yeah. Did not touch the old women. Did, did it have any scenes in 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 Italy? It wouldn't matter. But but didn't they do? <laughs> Please do not touch the old women. <clears throat> Could if it we be can't think um, of anything else? That's fine. Could it, no, could it be the um the Dustin Hoffman one, The Graduate? The graduate? Yeah, that sounds. Mm. Oh, that's that could better. Be. That's yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. Want that one? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Graduate. That, is, that is close to sixty-eight too. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think this one's Tarzan. I thought Tarzan too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I don't know why he's. Yeah, that, that wasn't funny though. Uh, wouldn't it be George <laughs> the Jackal? Well, the, there was a um. Um, Georgia the oh, oh, the other one is uh, Georgia the Jungle. Yeah. Is that a movie? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was just a song. No, yeah. it, they made, it was a that, cartoon and then they made it into the movie. I thought it was a cartoon. Yeah, and yeah, made it it Tarzan. Movie. Yeah, but Bra Brendan Fraser was in Georgia the Jungle. Yeah. He's, watch out for oh. the trees and smashes into it. Oh, yeah. That was pretty oh, much a running my gag. My pretend boyfriend is gay. 97. Hmm. As good as it gets was... Uh, no, no, that's the other. No, no, that ninety-seven is the other one. I'm sorry, Jack Nicholson is as good as it gets. Hmm. And you said ninety-seven. My boy, my pretend. <laughs> my pretend boyfriend is gay. Wow. See, if it's early, earlier, you could say the casual fall. Um, what is it? The birdcage. Yeah. Was, casual fall. Yeah. Well, it was it the bird cage in America or uh, Casual Fall was where it was, it was in, in Canada they released it because yeah. Casual Fall was already popular in the, the original version. I'm not, I, I'm drawing a blank on five. I'm a drunk and you're a prostitute. Arthur, 1981. Oh, that's good. I don't remember ever watching that. Did he win an Academy Award for that? I, I think he did. My opinion was, yeah. Yeah, I think he did. Okay, and this one is as good yeah. as it gets, number seven? Mr. Yeah, that's the nine, that's Jack Nicholson. I don't understand. How did they get his Mr. Cat Poop from as good? No, as I don't get it, but that, she doesn't get it either, but that was a 97 Jack Nicholson movie. Yeah. That's, that's good. all I know. Uh -huh. I thought it was Tootsie, but but he, he wasn't, wasn't in. in. Jack Nicholson wasn't in Tootsie. No. I know, but that's what came to mind. I thought right. we got this one before. My Poor Little Angel. Um, holiday movie. Home Alone? It's a holiday movie. Oh. Yeah, that sounds good. Home Alone, maybe? Home Alone? Yeah, it's, uh, that'd be good. intelligent. Yeah, Home Alone. Because How did they get that from yeah, it's the masculine form of uh, Angelito. So that's because yeah. there's a boy in the lead. Yeah. And this, I think, is Shawshank. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Why right. does it have the, what's Rita Hayworth in there? Was she in that's, it? The original, yes. The original movie was called uh, Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. That's the original yeah. name of the, mo the novel or, or, or novella. Where was Rita Hayworth in that? She movie? was the girl in the scene when they were watching the movie in prison. He goes, wait, wait, let me see this. And she whips her hair back. Mm. And then he gets a poster of her and hangs it on the wall. Oh, I do remember the poster because that's where they had the... Yeah, there's more than one poster, but she's one of the ones over the years. Mm. 
the movie, the the novella, novella was called Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank. Oh, you know, I vaguely my favorite remember. movie. Like, I it's vaguely a great movie. remember that. Let's see. Well, we're Do doing okay. Um, could that be Rocky? Well, this, number two. I thought it was Oz, uh, The Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Oh, I, I, thought, I thought it was Austin Powers or something like the man with the golden gun or something like that. Okay. But the Wizard of Oz makes sense, though. Yeah, they, yeah, I, I was yeah like, it does. Wizard of Oz makes sense. The powerful Oz, Wizard of Oz, that makes has sense. Spoken, and he has the device. Yeah. Wow, yeah, we did really good. You, if Archie, we got him right. Did really good. <laughs> now we got 10. Five, five we need. My boyfriend is gay. Um, so think of something in 97. Oh, I don't even remember ninety seven. Tootsie, no. Well, um, that would make sense. My pretend no. No. So, which movie had a um, yeah gay boyfriend? Um, was let's see, Victor Victoria. Yeah, that was in ninety. That wasn't the nineteen ninety seven though. Maybe. Yeah. Victor. Victoria. How are my kitties doing over here? Why don't you guys just go back and sit on your chair and sleep? Yeah. Come here. You need a little cuddle? You need a cuddle, kitten? Boogie Nights? Boogie Nights? That was 97. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but someone was gay? I don't know. I don't I don't see the movie. I don't know. It was 97. Yeah, what was, what was that movie where yeah, she was trying to hide her boyfriend. I mean, he pretended to be her boyfriend, but she was, he was gay. What, what movie was that? Um, was that the one where the, where the guy, it was in Ireland and he was a, a drag queen guy? Was that 97? Hollywood Heavyweights. Um, what was the one where the guy was the drag singer? Victor Victoria? No. No, no, no. And then the the big thing was it looked like a woman, but then he took his pants off and there was a penis and they showed it on the screen. Oh, the crying game. Crying game. Is it could that crying be the one? Game. Was that 97? That's close. Could be. Yeah. Let's put that. That's good. I think it was a bit earlier, but yeah, yeah. yeah. My okay. pretend boyfriend is gay. Okay. Here, kid. The crying game. We did. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if that's right. That's, but I don't even know if it's ninety-seven. But I just know I, I've seen that movie. It was, it was a weird movie. It was good. I, I barely, barely remember it. And everybody's supposed to be freaked out because they're like, "Oh my god, it was a, it was a, it was a, tra a person in in drag." And I thought. I thought it was obvious it was a person who drag. They said it's a surprise ending. I did. I I always knew it was. It was in the middle of the movie. Surprising to me. Yeah, it was in the middle of the I movie. I don't remember it at all. It's it kind of started off weird because it, it was like the Irish were all fighting each other. One guy runs and gets killed by a car, in like the beginning, and then that guy, the guy who witnesses it, goes after the guy's girlfriend or something and finds out it's actually a guy. I don't even remember that. God, I remember yeah. nothing. Was, yeah. I remember yeah, the I don't think I don't even think it was ninety seven. I think that might have been later, but I think it was a bit earlier. I, but I, I, I saw it. Early. Yeah. I, I saw what else it would be though. Um, I, I, the guy the guy who starred in the beginning of Get Hit by the Car it was a it's a it's a favorite actor of mine. I can't remember his name. He's got a strange um he's a heavy set black guy. Mm -hmm. What the hell's his name? He did the Twilight Zone a couple years, a few uh the a few years back, not the recent one. He's got a strange first name. Terrence Howard. No, I'm gonna oh look God. it up. Oh my gosh, are you guys well I know they're not doing Jamie's not got it over in Honey, it's okay, sweetie. What's wrong? Oh, I got a cat that's freaking out over here. Come here. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're hearing all, yeah, all the fireworks. Yeah. We had it last, last night. 
Last night was our holiday. It's the Queen's. It was the Queen's birthday last night. Well, Forrest Whitaker was the guy I was thinking of. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, but you're right. It's not 97. It's earlier than that. I don't know what an answer is. Help my pretend boyfriend is gay. <laughs> I wonder if we should put as good as it gets for that one. Did anybody see that movie? Put them both for two answers. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it for both answers. I think it's right for one of them. Because it's not crying game. Okay. Well, that's fine. All three of my cats are hiding under the kitchen table, dining room table. Are they? And See, they, last night, they don't normally freak out about stuff like this, I don't think. But they're all, I think they're, they think they're freaking. God. See, I last night. You did really well, Cat. You're going to be very disappointed. Our, our numbers have been great. Very good. Well, don't make me sad. Did everybody else do well? Um, everybody's still working on it. So I'm like, you guys look to be already finished. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Okay. I I guess I will start closing the rooms in like a minute or so. Yeah, you okay. have a two minute. It has a two minute thing on it. Okay. So you think I should just be mean and close it and make them all panic? Well, how, how yeah. are they doing though? <laughs> Some people are... Poor room five has only got two people in it. Um, room three had two, and I added, um, yeah, room three had no, kitty, Celia, and Alan, and I added Adrian, but Celia was doing a category, so well, it's just oh, Gail okay. and uh, Rob in there in room five. Mm. Room five is Gail and who, Rob. So, Wendy left, yeah, I didn't know Wendy left. Well, I'll be there next. All right. Well, I'm going to close but out. Y'all's going to leave, so it'll be me and Rob. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Happy days. <laughs> and now they'll all start to panic. Yay! <laughs> oh, jeez. Somebody's hitting these. Wow. It's amazing. This is not right. What? You don't think it's our author? No, because he didn't win. This is um, the Elizabeth Shue movie with Nicolas Cage, I think. He goes out to Las Vegas and hires a prostitute. He's going to kill himself. Or was that, is that... Um, that, that, that was called Leaving Las Vegas. That's the one. Which one? Uh, I'm Leaving a Las Vegas. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was yeah she was a prostitute. And did he win for that? Was it no? Was it Nicolas Cage? Or was it somebody else? Yeah, it was Nicolas Cage. And he I, did he mm -hmm. win for it though? Mm -hmm. I know she was nominated. Hey, sweetie, they'll stop here pretty soon. I should sit down on the floor with my cats. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> that a ball. I don't think he won. Um, and it, and it wasn't Nicolas Cage, was it? He was in Nicholas Cage was in Leaving Las Vegas. Okay. I, mean, I don't know what they how they how to how it ended up or if it Yeah. Was. I was in Vegas when he was in Vegas doing the flying Elvis scene from one of those movies, nineteen ninety two. Because we got we got married there, me and my wife. Mm. Funny enough, I, I was I was uh, working I was following him in when he was uh, north of uh, town and lived in Ontario. He did a terrible movie called Lost in Paradise, uh, and he was in Ontario for a short while, and I was just checking him out uh, for my newspaper. He just stayed quietly in this hotel room. So pretty much happened. They did a movie recently near me, and um... I was just counting down the clock, Gail. You'll have to finish that when we go back to the room. Yeah, I was saying that the computer had to translate the English into another language and then the other language back to English back mm -hmm. very young at this. Oh, I remember we did They that. gave it out of out of sight, out of mind. And what came back was invisible idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Not too far off. 
Yeah, I was telling Gail, I was hoping you were going to do the documentary as flat as an encephalogram, <laughs> which is which is the Spanish title translated to English of the documentary about flat earthers, which is in English oh, called Behind I remember the Curve. that. I remember that. <laughs> I think you should get a point just for knowing that, Rob. <laughs> All right. Get a point, I, I let's get to some answers. I thought yeah. that was kind of brilliant because, you know, the behind the curve expression, apparently colloquialism is not, they don't know what that means. So they had to come up with something even more insulting to a believer. You're brain dead. <laughs> <laughs> just, I love it. All right. So what do you got, Kat? Well, shockingly, some people actually got the answer to number one. And I swear it's only because they watch QI, because that's where this whole idea came from. You can thank what? British television. Watch what? The, the answer to number one, all together, passionately, is the sound of music. Well, we, uh, we thought we got it wrong uh, because the wild guess. we got that it was too right easy. away. Wild yeah. It was too easy. It was easy. Mm. We thought How we must have got it wrong. does anyone get that? <clears throat> yeah. We did. It's the biggest movie movie about music of all time. Yeah. I actually thought I about that when we were when you were reading them off, and yeah. I thought, no, they're, they're yeah, really I thought about the music of the heart. Said, music in the nobody's heart. Nobody's gonna get this. That was the only one I wrote down when you were reading them. Yeah, so that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, kudos. Well, I've never seen Q one. I don't even trivia. know what that. It's what like she a said. trivia game. Q you know one. The original mm -hmm. title was kind of lame, much less all the translations. I mean, the sound of music. I think. You may have got it because I included the Portuguese in there. If you just knew that it was all together passionately, you probably wouldn't have got the sound of music out of that. I don't know. <laughs> Number <laughs> two, the dumpling to be is Babe, a little oh, pig who's a we long talked about it, Ron. <laughs> Ron, you were That's right. right. Mark yeah. that one. Uh, You're right, Alan. Dumpling. That's literally a dumpling that movie movie. came out in uh, 1995. I don't know where you got where it came out in 2010. Yeah. It's, probably not, babe it's, not, it's not the first babe. It's babe one two. of the subsequent babes. Oh, babe so they have to, to get a little pig goes a long way to get the, the thing. They can't just put babe. I'll give a point if you got babe. We got babe. The actual uh, movie is called babe a little pig goes a long way i'd never heard of that one that's it, it's like either. the third or fourth babe movie there is i didn't know there was a third or fourth no, movie. i, I saw it I, think I, I knew know. about two I the saw original one. babe didn't talk i knew two and but he first, does he I become does he become project. a dumpling does he become a dumpling <laughs> at the end of the movie uh, doesn't every farm pig become not a in the movie but i'm sure is he delicious number three don't touch the old women in Italy is clearly Mel Brooks, the producers. Oh, we, oh. Put the, oh. we put the graduate. Oh, we thought it was the, the graduate. Oh, yeah. we got yeah. that too. Uh, the, we graduate the graduate would have made sense. The, graduate? the producers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's the graduate. The producers. I didn't think of that. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. We had two answers for the next one. We hope the I'm second I like one. it hot. We like, I still like Ooh, it. That, that would have been a good title for it. Number four, the monkey man who waxes genitals into trees is clearly George of the Jungle. Yay. Hey, Alan. We got that one. <clears throat> now, number five, they're already doing better than Lighthouse's cat. Yeah. <laughs> See? Like, Way better. Y'all did wonderfully. And number five, <laughs> lots of discussion on. Lots of options. Actually, lots of options. It's my best friend's wedding with Julia Roberts, not uh, to be confused with uh, I will marry a prostitute to save money, which was Pretty Woman. Oh, <laughs> uh, we, we put the crying game. Yeah, I thought that was two, but with that the crying game was 92. Well done, Cindy. <laughs> I was surprised at how many people knew that number six, the I'm a drunk and you're a prostitute, is Nicholas Cage's leaving Las Vegas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh we put Arthur. We, thought, we put Arthur. Arthur we put Arthur, and then we changed, changed it, it because I know that minute. Arthur didn't win a, an Oscar. We changed it mm. right at the last minute. Yeah, I thought Pretty Woman for that one. Right? He wasn't drunk. Was he, he wasn't wrong? a drunk. But that was his translation. He didn't talk. 
Number seven, some of you did actually get this, so kudos to you. It is as good as it gets. We got I one theory changed is it. it. Oh. <laughs> one theory we is that, that one. it's because cats are aloof and Jack Nicholson's character is aloof. Another is that Jack Nicholson's character's name Melvin sounds like cat poop. In Mandarin, um, and I'm not going to any of not those. Not because, not because he's also OCD, so chat, cat poop would drive him crazy, right? And I mean, there was a weird looking dog in the movie, but there was no cat poop. So anyway, it was the Brussels Griffon in the movie. I was actually, I was actually asked to provide a dog for them, and I didn't do it. Oh, is that right? Yeah, and Number I didn't eight? get it right either because it was about a cat, not a dog. <laughs> My my poor little angel is clearly home alone. Yep. Hey, hey. Hey. Good call group. <laughs> I don't know. Remember who came up with it? Alan, you came up with that. That was good. Mark got that because of the translation was a male in uh, Spanish. Yeah, Alito. Oh, good, good one. Too many of you got number nine. It's the name of the novel, that's why. It's the Shawshank Redemption. Did what the would the, the clue have been, Kat? The the clue is the Rita Hayworth. Hayworth. No, but you said <laughs> I'll give you a clue, and I said, "Oh, the clue was going to be Rita Hayworth isn't in the movie, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. she is. She is in the movie, but her, she's not her movie in and movie. her poster are in the movie. Yeah, yeah so you see a clip the of the a movie of her, but she's not. Star it's not a Rita Hayworth but, movie, right? Yeah, but but the name of the book is about <clears throat> includes. Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth's name in it. Yeah, Rita yeah, Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. The, you having fireworks over there? Yeah, it's not Cindy. Yeah, Cindy. Cindy. She's like Cindy. Got a cat with her. Oh, oh. And she's a lot here. His great device makes him famous. Is clearly Boogie Nights. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Well, we thought it was the Wizard oh, of Oz. Man. We thought it was the Wizard of Oz. Device. 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 <laughs> Yeah, powerful, device. great device. Well, well we went for, I went for the biggest device of all, nights. Oppenheimer. Yeah, oh. Oh. yeah, Oppenheimer's. Oh, that's good too. So, how yeah. about we get some scores? And oh, clearly, oh, I'm going to be sad because nobody's getting a zero. And you know, I thought for sure you were all going to hate me after this, and oh. no. <laughs> they never let me come back. Don't forget, some of us are a lot older than you, so <laughs> we got the Sound of Music was a huge movie. Forget yes, but that. altogether passionately is not how I would describe a movie with a singing nun in Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there was a love the story the between music was kind of a dumb title for it too. The, 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 I didn't the see girl it. the girls in love, the teenage girls in love with the guy. That's a big thing. explaining oh they but she is sixteen going on seventeen. Yeah, they did the song. Celia's fixated on Hurricane Barrel. Anybody count? You got that? Anybody count those up, Adrian? Three. The group. Just the three. God, we talked our way out of two, didn't we? Yeah, two of them. Oh, Stormy crap. Daniels is welcome at my house at any time. We got four. Okay. Then let's go to Slow News Night. Newsweek, so we don't have a team name. One. And the only one we got was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is really hard. Team we had not very creative answers, though. Team Thrombosis had seven. Ooh. 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 Okay. Way to ruin the average for me there. And Most all... people don't work on the 4th of July. We also, had, we also had seven. Woo! Woo. <laughs> Oh, oh you so thought you were taking it from us, but no. It's a 4.4 4 for you, Susan. I tried to get you, you know. It's still below zero, five. 4.4, but, 4. 4, but it's red. Hey, Susan, can you show that chart mm -hmm. again? Yeah. I'm just curious how they all did, because I thought we moved up. I think we had quite a few hard ones tonight. Yeah, unlike last week where people what were scoring the into the 40s. Thing? Yeah, here's last week. We only had one hit 40, 41. Well, 4.4 4 is pretty low there, Kat. Mm -hmm. I tried. I thought mine was really hard, but it's 5. 5. it was. Five. Mm -hmm. 
no, it was discussable, you know, How, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It wasn't like the Canadian prime ministers so much. But yeah, you knew them or didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's but, the bonus for but you. But Celia's yeah. and um, Kat's both were something you could go, you can talk about reason about yeah. it. What movie was in 1997? You know, yeah, that. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, so. I tried to give you clues in in the questions. So, all right, you did. and you did. <laughs> okay, you did. And, our last round is around. And was certainly um, educational. Our last category is a complete change of pace <laughs> from everything else tonight. All okay. right, uh, this was inspired by Karen's category last week, and that is pepper. Oh. Pepper. What was pepper, what was yes. her category last week? Pepper, pepper, pepper. Onions. Uh -huh. onions. I'm doing pepper. Oh, I don't <laughs> have onions on here. Where do I have onions? Yeah, it was a category last week. Yeah, Remember the song? That just, like poop, just like poop. Just like poop. There's pepper oh, right there. Oh, oh, oh. I, it's called cool and fascinating facts about onions. That's why I didn't. Uh, sorry, oh. I just Pepper's called so pepper. cute, Kevin. And there's my dog, Pepper. Okay, so are you ready? Aww. Or am I going to have to mute everybody? Okay, We're ready. Okay. All right. Here we go. Question one. What part of modern day India was the most important source of black pepper in ancient times? Ancient times, meaning back from... I, I'm going to... It's, you'll get it from another question. But medieval <laughs> times and earlier... <laughs> Okay, question two, true or false? The Romans loved pepper and were willing to pay high prices. This became particularly true after they con conquered Egypt where they found a supplier. Archeologists found pepper in the nostrils of the Pharaoh Ramses II, who died in 1213 BCE. And we know that the Egyptians were part of the massive Red Sea pepper trade from India. And I promise you that if it's true, all of it's true. And if it's false, the false thing will not be something trivial like it was 1214. What? I'm glad you swore to that. That's fine. I swore to that. Or okay. that instead of it was found in the nostrils, it was found in the in the mouth. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it trivial, right? That would it's be either all true or all false. If it if it wasn't found at all, that would make it false. Right? No, no, that's that's not no. true. Kevin. Yeah, you're right. No, I understand. Question three. There is a variety of this spice that was used used to be a ubiquitous, ubiquitous in cooking and trade during the Middle Ages in Europe. Although it is still grown in India, it is now typically used as part of traditional Indian medicine. What is this Indian medicine called? This is a, their version of alternative medicine. Question four. This version of black pepper, the one from quest the previous question, mm -hmm. comes from a completely different plant mm -hmm. than our usual pepper nigrum. It is a much stronger bite than our usual peppercorns. It can sometimes be found in specialty stores in this country and is a favorite of those who like to cook historical food. What is the common name for this kind of pepper? Question five. Once the Europeans had access to pepper, they loved it. However, it was extremely expensive. Only the very rich could afford it. That resulted in Pepper being given the popular nickname Jeez. Five Blanks, Four Blanks. And it is five and four. Okay, question. Okay. Europeans had regular access to this expensive spice because a Portuguese sailor found a water route to India by sailing around Africa in 1498. Who was this explorer? Peter Piper. Mm 
question seven. This is a multiple choice. How does the pepper nigrum grow? A, on a tree, B, underground, C, on a vine, or D, on a bushy plant? And the pepper nigrum is what we usually think of as black pepper. So you you typed Piper and Nigram. Do you mean Pepper? <laughs> no, I meant Piper. That's the official name Piper, of Pepper. Nigram. The scientific name for it. And and scientific. and again, just to clarify, we are talking about the black pepper spice, not chili peppers, et cetera, et cetera. We're talking about black pepper. Yeah. <laughs> for all of the questions. For the questions so far, yes. Oh. Okay. The peppercorns that are now used all over the world are usually dried in black but you can find white peppercorns. They have a milder flavor and don't leave black specks in white sauces. How are they related to black pepper? And this is another multiple choice. A, they are a different variety that was created by selective breeding. B, they are made from the same green peppercorn as the black pepper, but the green underripe berries are boiled to remove the skin before drying. Or C, the unripe pepper is green, the ripe pepper is either pink or white, and the black ones are cured and roasted. Okay. Number nine. Another true and false. And I just blew that. Let me fix that. Well, true and false, and I just give me a second here. Okay. I will read it because I just, as I copied it, I goofed. Okay. So I'll read it correctly in case that confuses, confuses you, Rob. Okay, it's a true and false. The TR got stuck in the middle of place someplace else. It's true or false, Sichuan pepper is reddish in color and is typical of spicy food from Sichuan, China. It is not, and that word is related to black pepper and is famous for the tingling numbness, numbness it creates in the mouth. And then finally, number 10. Columbus's voyages were to find spices, but the main spice he wanted to find was the valuable black pepper. Since he was not in India or even Asia, there was no black pepper, but he found another hot spice. He brought this American spice back to Europe and named it to show it was as desirable as pepper. What was this? Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna open the rooms. Oh. Oops. Susan, I'm sure you cook, so you know all these answers, right? I can't cook. <laughs> I don't cook. Uh, I, I mean, I could guess along with you, but all right. What well, part of modern day, do you know any of these? I think uh, I only know three, and I'm not even positive about that one. Okay, do you know one? No, I don't know. As I said, I only know three. Oh, I, I thought you meant you need three answers. No, sorry, number three. Uh, I think okay. that's Ayurvedic. <clears throat> I mean, that's the type of medicine. I was, you know, I don't understand that. It's like, what is this Indian medicine called? Yeah, that seems like a little. I it's mean, it's Ayurvedic called makes sense. It's called Ayurvedic medicine, but I don't think that's what you call the thing that grows. Still grown in India. I mean, I don't I get it. Ayurvedic. 
A Y E V I D I C, something like that. Okay, that sounds right. Okay. Uh, well, and, number two is a true or false. So yeah, and I have I have guesses at the the multiple choice and true or false, but they're just all wild guesses, really. Um. Yeah, I mean, what would be wrong there? That she said a lot would have to be wrong or major things. Um. I mean, it uh, sounds reason reasonable. In the, I did see an exhibit of Ramesses the second, I think, in when I was in Sydney, Australia, believe it or not. Um, huh. And we know that the Egyptians are part of the massive Red Sea pepper trade from India. I know salt was a big thing. I don't know if pepper, I didn't know pepper was. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe that's the thing that, that it wasn't. Maybe everything there that's true, maybe it would be true if it was salt. Yeah. All right. Let's do false on that. Then. Okay. Just because it just feels like. Okay. Um, four. This version of black pepper comes from a completely different plant than our usual. It has a much stronger bite. Or any pepper. Mm, I, I have no idea. Different plant than our usual pepper plant. Once the Europeans had access to pepper, they loved it. However, it was extremely expensive. Only the very rich could afford it. That resulted in pepper being given the popular nickname of five letters, four letters. Well, I'll guess if we don't know it. Uh, is the last four letters rich? Only the very rich could afford it. it resulted in Pepper being given the popular nickname. Uh, four letters could be gold. Oh, somebody's gold or something's gold. That's good, 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 good. Um, King's gold. What the hell? Well, I was saying it might be something that had a lot of spice. Spice gold. S -P -I -S -P, spice gold. But spice seems like it should have a different, like spicy gold or. Yeah. Mm. Spice gold. I don't know. We're not going to get this Black one. It's gold. a wild guess. Let's European. go on to the multiple choices. Okay, European had regular access to this expensive because the Portuguese sailor found a water route to India by sailing around Africa. 1498. Who is the explorer of Portuguese? Oh, would that be um, Christopher Columbus? No, he was uh, Italian. He yeah. Italian. Well, he was he, he appealed to yeah, I would not call him Portuguese. That's right. That's right. He's Italian. Um, I don't know. Was Magellan Portuguese? That sounds great. Okay. <laughs> uh, it wasn't Cook. Cook, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cook, is, Cook is British. Uh, so Magellan. All right. Seven. I, I don't even get that one, but it's a wild guess. Okay. What What is a Piper Nigrum? What does that mean? I, it's, don't it's a, I think it's... Uh, my my I have poppies that are growing that way. It's a little little thing like this, and inside it has little seeds. I bet that's how it is. So it grows on a my my poppy California poppies grow that way. It's just like a little would it be seed. is it on a on a vine or on a tree in an underground like what? Well, it's not underground. It's not a tree. Oh, pepper trees. On a bushy Where plant, does the pepper tree you, grow. You pick peppers. Tree of pepper. pepper. What is a tree? P Piper picked a peck of pickled pep peppers. So I, like, I mean, I I I don't know. We don't grow pepper here. That's not a thing here. So we grow vegetables, but and fruits, but not. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not thinking it's underground. So a tree, I, I don't think it's pepper probably, tree. Either a vine or on a bushy plant. That's my guess. Okay, so which one? I don't know. 
bushy plant. All right. Um. Okay. All right. Then we got multiple like white flavors. peppers, horns, milder flavor, and don't leave black spat. Okay. How are they related to black pepper? They are a different variety. I feel like there's somebody like right outside my window, like like standing outside my window doing fireworks. It sounds like um, I'm, I'm luckily already stopped, so I don't have to worry about the house burning down. Another oh, year. it's only nine forty five here, so it's uh, it's one almost one o'clock. So everybody's gone to bed. Okay, have you used all over the world, or usually dried by mild flavor? Okay, that makes sense that it would have it would not leave if you have a white sauce. Hmm. Different variety. Do you have an answer for this one or guess? No, I would be guessing flipping a coin, three sided coin. I have no idea. Well, there's only three, so we've got a 33% chance. <laughs> yeah. Um, would they be boiled? I don't know. I don't like that answer. And the selective breeding sounds like uh, let's go with C. Okay. Um so nine nine, I think that's true. Okay. I don't really do spices that much. Okay, Columbus's voyage. Where to find spices? Okay, I remember this. Not that I was there or anything, but Never heard this story. He brought back a spice of some sort and named it desirable. Five of up here, since he was like, not in the India or Asia. What the hell would that be? I don't know. Let me read this question better. So, not any a black pepper, but he found another hot spice. Okay, well, he came to the Americas. What hot spice grows here natively? I don't know. Well, they brought back tobacco. But that's not a spice. Is it can you use it as a spice? I don't think so. Or did they bring did they brought tobacco to America? That's no, to, to, no, tobacco tobacco was American. Yeah. And he brought it back to Europe and got everybody smoking. Okay. He brought this American spice back to Europe and named it to show it was desirable as pepper. So something that seems like it would be pepper. Like um I have no idea. I've never heard this. Can't think of what spice would grow here. A cinnamon? No. Well, that's a good guess. Okay. So the name's got to have something that makes it sound like it would be so that people would think it's like a faux pepper. Oh my goodness, Kitty. Hamilton's okay. He's hiding in a corner, but he wants to be where they want to be where I am. What's One of cat? my cats, cats always do? hides under the couch during a thunderstorm and on July 4th. But luckily, nobody was extremely close this year. I think I had a lot of our really obnoxious neighbors move in the last year or two. Or or the kids who were doing it, you know, went off to college or something and they're not home anymore. So I noticed it was much better. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I, I have no guess here. Is it Cin illegal in your area? No. No, oh, it's it's not supposed to be done in here. It's cinnamon, cinnamon is a good because it's a spice, and I don't Ooh. know. If that's a good, but I don't know. I don't get the name. Another hot spice. Cinnamon's not hot. Mm, no. I mean, there's there's bite to it. What would you put on? What would you put on meat? That would give you a flavor that's like a pepper, but it's not pepper. Like horseradish? No. Um, I mean, onions, but uh, well, we found out that's not, that was around in Europe all the time. So that ain't it. Last week. So. What'd you put on it? God, I wonder where people get all the money to buy these fireworks from because it's just this has got to be they're blowing a bundle when they do this hundreds of dollars yep yep i mean i i just don't like that because it's dangerous in my neck of the woods with literally woods well and, i told you mark's in the hospital and yeah, yeah. we had yesterday and today 
we heard the nurses talking about burns and somebody said something today they were saying i'm not sure we could put that on a burn i think we're not supposed to they were talking about some kind of treatment and the other nurse like oh yeah here's what you have to do and and mark said boy there have been a lot of talking about burns today and they thought mm -hmm. burns and then it, he goes, oh, it's the 4th of July. So that's yep. why. So some there's been people coming in with accidents, harming their. Yeah, spouse. every year, uh, the day after, there's always reports in the papers about how many people got severely injured. Yeah. All right, which don't we have? We don't have what? <laughs> what don't we have? Four, five. Okay, so we're going to put cinnamon for 10, even though we can't, it can't be right. Yeah. And, and number one, what part of modern day? I don't understand. I was going to ask you, what does part mean? North, south? Can I say north and north India is a part of India? I don't get that. Oh, wow. Now they're actually having some that make gritties. Okay, what part of modern day India was the most important? I don't understand the part of. She said that'll make sense later. So maybe modern part of northern modern day india what are different parts of india we can't say Kashmir. That new delhi be. how about new delhi that's a big part is it by the water because yeah. you think it'd be near water i think it is well i'll never look at pepper again the same way okay number four this version of black pepper comes from a completely different plant than our usual pepper no idea jalapeno Ooh, but it's specialty stores can you get yeah. pepper, can you get jalapenos just anywhere i would think so so i don't think that we get sense. jalapenos anywhere you know yeah. we can grow them very easily um and as a favorite of those who like to cook historical food what is the common name so is everybody mad at you gail uh, I don't hard. think so. I, some of them are hard. Some of them are very easy. And I think uh -huh. we can get some so, of them. So, we're going to be a little higher than yet. the last two rounds, I think. Yeah. What, what is, um, what, what, what do you mean by the word part when you say mo what part of modern day India? I'm giving you two choices because of that. I'm saying either the current modern name of the state or back then what they called that whole area. Of the, what is now India. Okay, so I can't just say I, by part. I can't just say the northern part of India. No, I'm looking for a particular name that was used back then, okay. and it it was a name for a part of India. Okay. I don't have a better word I don't for think it. We got it right, Rob. No. Uh, what's a very popular? That wasn't Constantinople. Wasn't in India, was it? No. No, and if you you don't have to do that one, you can do the name of the state now, which is part of that's why I gave you both choices. Okay, All well, right, we, so let's stick with we've got something in there. Let's stick with what we got. Okay, let's stay with what we have. It's it's a good guess. Okay, four. I guess you could start closing on us because I'm gonna close everybody. I just you were the last one uh, I was checking on. We're as good as we're gonna get. What is the common name for this kind of pepper? Bell pepper? Uh, um, ghost pepper? Bell? Did you say bell? It's a pepper. Okay, let's go with that. You don't think it's ghost pepper? I don't know what that is. Ghost? Okay. Yeah, it's really, really, really bad. All right, go with that one. Ghost. I've never heard of it. Ghost, okay. And five, we need the words uh, King's Gold because we don't have anything else. K I N G S. Yeah, okay. Got nothing else. Um, we're we're gonna, we're gonna have the lowest three scores in a row that I think has ever been. I'm gonna look on the charts and see if that's true. You just say, well, there's only two of us in here, so otherwise we would have. That's been, part of the problem. There were an excuse. Two. Say Susan was on the team, so you know what else are we gonna do? <laughs> well, two people left. We had four. Yeah, well, there's a there's another one that was really close to that too. It, we had a bunch of people leave today, and then we didn't have Carl today or Lee, <laughs> so it's unusual to. <sighs> it may be a good idea to ask people who are going to leave to let you know, so you cannot put them all on the same team. Well, usually I do know, but.
but Vincent oh. usually stays. And he, got he, COVID. Left. he got COVID. Yeah. Carolyn always goes. Um, Wendy, I thought would stay at least. Yeah, we didn't know Wendy was leaving until she was gone. Oh, wow. Yeah, but yeah, she hasn't stayed for the whole game in a long time. But yeah. Jim. And Jim always leaves early. Yeah, he always leaves. I think it was I was trying really hard to try to spread out the Canadians and, and that got me. Oh, kind of, right. I think Thank that got a little know. bit. I usually do a better job. Well, but, don't worry about us because we're, we're going to be in last place no matter what. <laughs> you're tied right now. You're tied for last place. So. Oh, well, we might not be tied. That was, well, that hard. was hard, Susan. You should be happy. That, that was, was really hard. difficult. <laughs> okay, so you ready for the answers? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Share screen. Can you all see my screen? Yes. Yeah. The category was pepper, and you had a hint from one of the questions. I was trying very hard not to, not to help with it, but when we get there, um, that obviously the pepper mill, and that is a an it's old. Tentative depiction of a plantation where they were doing pepper. The answer is the Malabar Coast or Kerala State. Kerala State, if you remember what it was about, it was about coming around Africa. So where did they land? They landed on this coast, which was then not the state. India wasn't a country then. So the Malabar Coast is all of this area of India. And they found the pepper there and were bringing it back. And because they were going around Africa, they had a better route than they had before over land. So so if we said Goa, it's not right. No, Goa's not right. Hey, why couldn't they just start growing it in other areas? Is this plant something well, that- Well, they did. <laughs> they, all over Asia anyway, where the, where the climate was right. But remember, we're now talking about, about uh, 15th century here. Yeah, things don't grow everywhere in the world. <laughs> what is it just really hot? It's still in grown most, it's still grown mostly in, in, in Asia, but it's grown all over Asia now. Hmm. I think it needs heat. Two is true. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. We had a 50 50 chance and we got it wrong. Oh, man. <laughs> that is absolutely true. Every bit of it. We thought it was salt. Well, I purposely put a lot of information in there to try to give you that problem but it, it is true and too obvious i love this quote from pliny it's surprising the use of peppers come so much into fashion seeing that in other substances we use we it's sometimes their sweetness and their appearance that attracted our notice but pepper is nothing in it that can plead as a recommendation right okay number three that was one that you either had to know or not. Yay, right. Deborah. 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 We spell Ayurvedic rock, medicine, we got it right. their version of the Chinese I spell it right. medicine, well, I spell naturopathic it medicine, and it's just as good as all of those are. And they do use it extensively, and what they use is something they call long pepper. I put ghost pepper. And long pepper is still a food and was originally used as a food, but it's much more expensive than regular pepper, and it is much more pungent. And these are pictures of long pepper. And you can buy it. Like I said, people who want to do traditional medieval food will often do that because it was more what they used back then, although both kinds of pepper were available. But it was the, the, the original spice. It's still used in Indian cooking, but not very much. Actually, in India, they don't use a lot of pepper at all anymore. Most of it's exported. And I think most of you got this. Oh, black gold. Yeah. Right. Hey, Ramiro. Hey, Ramiro. Good. Good five, guess, guys. Four letters, and it said right in the question how expensive it was, right? That was the point. Yeah. It was very, yeah. very expensive. The, the they had lettering. All the way you know, from Asia. And curiously, in Grenada, they called nutmeg the black gold. So I think that was probably oh. used in a lot of different parts of the world for whatever product they are, product, product they produce that becomes very economically important and, and valuable. Like oil. Well, we're used to calling oil black gold. Black gold, right? exactly. Well, oil, in, nutmeg, pepper. <laughs> in the old days, the in Springfield, Oregon, the the uh, wood mills put out whole bunches of soot and stuff, and the ladies complained because they couldn't hang their clothes up because outside to dry because it got soot yeah. all over them, 
and the men called it black gold because they were making their livings Money. off the, exactly all yeah. they had to do was adjust down the vents properly and solve the whole problem okay number six again i think almost everyone got this one Vasco de gama everybody got it you had to be kidding and it was it was one of the places Vasco, yeah they did Thank you. Alan. I wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> I, 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 I. He's one of the, orig the original people in the 15th century. He, it was just a couple of years after Columbus, but um, he went around Africa to get to India, and he did get to India, which of course Columbus didn't. And it's the reason a small country like Portugal ended up with Brazil, and that original painting that we saw that's behind me comes from Brazil. Um, at the at his time, and um, and he, colonized a, he a got lot them of Africa, to plant more pepper for them, and they basically conquered that area of India, and the Portuguese ruled it for a very long time before yeah. the British took it over. Yeah, and and Africa, they colonized a lot of Africa. Portuguese so, number seven, so. it grows on a vine, and these are pictures of pepper growing. Huh. The vine that they roll, they put up like that. It kind of looks like a bushy plant to me. It looks like it's a vine. It looks like a tree. <laughs> See, it is, like it's just, the it only one it doesn't look like is underground. <laughs> <laughs> it may look like it, but it's not a plant. A plant got bushy, right? I even made sure I said bushy plant. You can see it here more clearly. You see, it's just it's running up the, up the stick to get more of it in a small space. Well, it and doesn't look, look like, like marijuana. A, <laughs> okay, number eight. Eight is the there are those are the four kinds of peppers you will actually see, but the only one that is what the the piper the piper nigrum is the black pepper that we usually have, which is the pepper ripened and dried in the sun or sometimes with heat. And if you take that before it's quite ripe, and you boil it, you take the skin off, and the the white inside is then dried, and that becomes white pepper. And the other colors aren't pepper at all. They're completely unrelated plant. So the pink pepper that you will see comes from a completely different, it's a tree plant and a completely different plant. It's not really pepper. We use that word pepper very strangely. It's a variety of roses. And it's a it's actually related to to cashew nuts. It's got nothing to do with the, the plant called the peppercorn. So it's in the rose family, like lots of other foods, actually. Huh. Yeah. Number nine is true. Szechuan peppers are also not peppers at all. Sorry, they're the ones that are related to to uh, cashews. Um, they are red. That's a picture of them. And they do have a tingling, numbing sensation on your tongue, as well as being very, very hot. And you can buy them and use them here. Uh, used to be import used to be prohibited in into America, and it was only recently that they, it was uh, that they changed that. Why? Because of the numb feeling is is a is a drug. Oh, for God's sakes. What they don't allow us to do it's just yeah. and finally number 10 and i thought 10 was going to be a giveaway it's a chili pepper he oh. called them chili peppers because he didn't find the black pepper he was looking for and that's why we call all of those totally unrelated capsicum peppers pepper because he I wanted to them that it was just like other pepper so glad I always, ever since I was a little child, I wondered why we use the same name for bell peppers and black pepper. I right. even That's, as a kid, I knew they weren't related. They're not, they aren't related. And, and of course, no people in Europe knew they weren't related, but they believed that it was just as good because he called it pepper. And that way they could say they were eating pepper. Um, but it was totally a, a marketing strategy. Um, that Columbus was really sneaky in, in so many ways. Well, he had to justify the money that he was given by uh, right. Isabella and uh, Ferdinand. Yeah, and there's there are some people who claim that he thought it was really pepper and he wasn't lying. I'm not sure I believe that because no. obviously it's not pepper the way we know. But that's what he was looking for. 
they wanted him to find this very expensive black pepper that they were getting. And Vasco wow. da Gama, a few years later, did it instead. He's got his fingers crossed behind his back in the yeah, picture. Yeah, that's because he's lying. Yep. Wow. That was a good one. That was hard. Well, we'll see how everybody did because that was di very difficult. I like them to be difficult, so let's see. All right. And I still need a category for next week, just FYI. Mm -hmm. So let's go with... Forget the Supreme Court. Forget their score. Did, did they get a zero? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's no one's gonna break forty this week. Who's gonna? Oh, I always forget what our name is. Yeah, sorry about that. It, it's six. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you weren't with us initially when we no. made that name, so. <laughs> All right, so slow news week, so we <laughs> don't have a team name. It fell asleep. That's just, it's just you, Rob. Susan's on the team, she knows what we got. I don't know what we got. <laughs> oh, then we got 10. <laughs> <laughs> no i was actually very disappointed that we got number nine correct because i was going for the the three streaks of one 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 and we didn't <laughs> successfully do that so we got one one and two oh. no yeah we're number two man okay um and stormy daniels is welcome to my house anytime for a five Ooh, somebody cooks at that place um team thrombosis we got nine. She. Oh. oh, you keep competing with this one. Most people don't work on the 4th of July. We I got remember. six. That's oh. right. Ooh. Barely. Two weeks in a row. <laughs> Barely. Edged out by one. We sneaked it out. And five All it takes, six. man. Look at these numbers. 4.4, 4, 5.6, and 5.6. You asked for hard, Susan. You wanted hard. That's we delivered. I'm not complaining. I think that's pretty good. It's a much All right, more so, so the next time that I do TV series music, I'm going to pick TV shows from the 1920s and see how you do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll do excellent because none of them existed. That's right. I, I, I want to well pick stuff that is, um, I don't know. It's it's not, it, what I don't want to see is everybody have a 10. Bob, you could do TV theme, I mean, movie theme songs from the silent film era. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they did play music. It was just something. That's what I know. Who, who yeah. saw those? Organ. Just get organ creative. music. Do, 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 do. We had some very creative. A lot of trains crashing to fast piano. <laughs> <laughs> this is very creative. Now, do we have somebody who wants to do a category next week that I haven't already got on the list? Adrian's going to be in charge. So you guys got to be, and she's going to be doing the next two weeks, actually. Oh, and can can uh, Karen be my be my helper? Co -host. Again? I, I like it when I work with Karen. Thank you. Thank you very much. I need to say on second Tuesdays, I have a standing meeting. So I, I get here at 730. I'm sorry to say. Second Tuesday, second that's, Thursday. Oh, that, that's okay. Second Thursday. Would be, second Thursday. The, thir the, the 730 should be fine. It's just that somebody needs to kind of keep track of me and make sure that I don't get distracted. Sure. Sure. You know, oh, and you won't that. let me do that for you, Adrian? No, because you, get, you and I just distract You're each other. You're the king distraction. <laughs> She's the queen of distraction. Well, I still don't have a category for next uh, week. Su Susan, I have a suggestion. I, I, I'm sure Carl will be better by next week. And since he didn't do a category this week, he might be up for doing one. Well, that's a great idea. Let's volunteer him. <laughs> Voluntold. Voluntold. And Susan, I'd be a backup if he can't do it. Okay. Because I've done two weeks in a row, so. I'll say it. You have just, just make sure you remember to tell Carl he doesn't show up. I go, What? I'm doing it right now. Yeah, okay. Send send it to the right person. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle will be real like completely. Well, look, Kyle mystified. is one of the speakers at Skeptical. He's gonna be talking he about is. AI. I, I would like to share a just a little um fourth uh, fourth of July uh joke, I guess, here, visual joke for you here.
Oh, that's a little morbid, but funny. Yeah, that one kind of fit. It kind of fits. Except they might not be cold; they might be hot and smoldering. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, And just so you know, too, Dave Thomas has already uploaded five videos onto the playlist. Oh, he managed to get them. He's doing. He's doing them as we speak, apparently. So he's got uh, his own. He's got Ben Radford. He's got Frank Etzcorn, who's a riot and it's not too long it's about 30 minutes and celestia ward what did what did celestia talk about she talked about caricatures and uh critical thinking it was really good Hi, Peggy. Mm. i'm out of here too night guys Hi, Peggy. good night Hi, Peggy. happy fourth good night, Ron. Hi. anybody talking about the, the case good to be with you you know I'm what? Jury. If you if you if you want to hang around for a minute, because I don't think most people are following it. I am, but it's over. It's hung jury. Well, I know, but I they're going to retry it, right? Yeah. No, well, we, I don't think they're going to retry it. I don't know Wait, what you're talking case? about. Which so I'm going to head out for you, Karen Reed. Next week, Karen everybody Reed. have a good week. Bye, Rob. I don't think it's just the what stupidest is? case I've ever seen in my what, what, entire life. What are we? What are we what talking? Is the about? Karen, Karen Reed, Reed uh, trial. R-E-E-D. She hit her boy, boyfriend cop, and he died in the cold. What? He, what? Okay. okay wait, start wait. over again. Start okay. over. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it because I've been following this because it's on. I only watch one channel, one lawyer channel, and so this is the one we've been following for a while. So what it is is uh, a woman who her boyfriend they'd been in a long-term relationship with this boyfriend on and off a lot of fighting and stuff like that and he had custody of his two his niece and nephew and he was a police officer so they went drinking at a place called the waterfall which is this was the picture behind kevin in boston Boston, there it is. right there it is uh, it's in yeah. canton Canton Mass near uh, Okay, so they went drinking, and while they were there, they ran into another group of people who were also drinking, who were also cops. And they said, Come back to our house and we'll continue the party. And Karen drove with an SUV to the boyfriend's house, I mean, to this guy's house, which wasn't very far away. They're all drunk. And it was and it was cold and snowy weather. You know, it was Boston in February. February, right, Kevin? I think so. February, Mom? Can so, read case? I think it was February. So then she drives to the place, and what happens next is not understood. They, according to Karen, she he gets out of the car and goes into the house, which is where there's a whole bunch of police officers and the uh, police officers, family of police officers, friends of police officers, a, a, a German Shepherd dog, and she says he runs into it. She goes back home and she's been, they've been fighting. And she's, there's all these text messages that there are there that they were able to uncover that are like, she's like, you know, you pissed me off. You, you've done it now. And she's really mad at him. I'm going to, I'm going to go home. And, you know, she's just all these call, text messages. And then what happens is there's a waterfall. So then, she goes back home. She wakes up a several several hours later, and she realizes he's not home yet. And so she has been trying to call him and text him, and she can't find him. And so she goes to out of her car. She gets her car. She backs into his his car, which is in the driveway. Breaks her tail light or cracks her tail light, and then goes off, goes back to the waterfall because she thinks she left him there. She goes to another friend's house. Then they go back to her house. They're looking for this guy. And finally, they end up at the house that he's talking about right there, that where the green is, except it's snow. And she sees his, she sees her boyfriend laying in the snow, dead. Near the flagpole. Right, yeah. So according to, according to the, so her, her testimony is, is that he went into the house, got into a fight, the dog bit the, the, uh, the guy's arm and they drug him out and let him die in the snow that's her case 
for uh, but the but the um people in the house say he never came into our house he was never here and there's all these people and you could, you're trying to tell us that we would uh, other police officer would have beat him up and, and the dog would have attacked him and drug him out and put him into the snow that doesn't make any sense at all so there's all kinds of things going on unscreen share karen i mean um, <laughs> kevin yeah. for a second so there's so many contradictions like they've got like one of the police officers who was having a flirtatious relationship with karen he's he took his phone and he, before he had to turn it in, because he was supposed Took to turn it in, he takes his cell phone and he, he, he takes it to the F, an FBI place and he has just like one string of conversation downloaded. Then he destroys his phone. And we also, they also got rid of the dog. Uh, the dog is gone. Nobody knows. And they the dog changed is. all the carpets in the basement in certain parts of the room where the people suspect there was blood, ripped up some oh. of the floor. They sold Nine the house. Hours. There's so many things that, and and the, the one of the co cops is corrupt because he was tech. He was asking her all these perverted questions, like oh, yeah. he's looking so, her through her phone for nude photos and stuff. Right. So one of the cops who was investigating the crime, he said immediately that she had, um, she was guilty. And then he they he had to read out the text messages. It was really embarrassing because he was calling her all sorts of really nasty stuff and he was saying you know she's gonna go down there's no way and they're like well is she hot and he's like yeah she's pretty hot and i mean he was it was just disgusting and he's texting this to other cops and to his friends who have nothing to do with the police business like within hours of the of this happening and so um everybody else what the state is saying is that she was pissed off at him and she backed into him really fast and made him go flying at oh my god it's so confusing they did such a horrible investigation and so in the trial uh one of the things they did which is so stupid here's they're testifying here's her car they bring in the suv into a like a a garage a heated garage and you can see them pulling the car in her car which is supposedly has a broken tail light and we're watching without without sound you can see this video running you know of this car being pulled into the garage and there's all these cops outside moving away snow from the ground and everything and and you're looking at it and you're going okay so there's the tail light that's broken right there there it is right there you can see it and you're looking you're like no cop went near that tail light no cop went near that tail light and then as he's testifying the 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 defense says this video, something's it's with the video. Mirrored. It's and mirrored. the cop says it's mirrored. So it was like inverted. So the area we, as the the people watching and the jury are watching, there's no cop that goes near it. But when they revert the video to change it to the mirror, you realize the cops are all around that tail light for a large period of time. And we can't see what's happening over there because it's hey. on the other side of the uh, the camera. Yeah, when so, they showed it, it actually looked like the driver of the car got out of the passenger seat side. When you realize he's the driver, that's a reverse image. And they and they just they released the video like that. And and also when they released the video like that, they reverted the numbers. Everything's correct. So like they did it on purpose. They they reversed it to fool people. It wasn't like a. That is that tampering with evidence. I yeah. didn't know that they actually changed the letters and numbers. I didn't notice That's that. That's what they're saying that. Yeah, we wow. don't know. So, but then again, so it, it there's there's heavy, I mean, she was heavily drinking. She she should have been drunk driving accidental homicide at least. At least. It but uh, like like here he, it, it's like a blizzard the out. Scene. They have to tow the car to this. Well, they didn't tow it. They bring it brought this car. No, they did tow it. They brought it to this police wing and at the police place, they find a hair on the taillight, one of his hairs. Now, how did he get all the way through the snow and everything? There's one hair. And then there was broken pieces of taillight at the scene. There was, um, there was no, and there was more afterwards, him. no, was more, more, more pieces of glass found after the first investigation 
They didn't find it. Then they say after the snow melted, there was more. But but aren't there some things not just about this one cop being inappropriate, but that there were there was corruption going on, and they want you know. Well, they don't know because they brought up another a- old case where they a woman got arrested for something else. They're thinking is corruption involved in that one now. So so it's it's like the the police all kind of dirty cops. Yeah, it kind of seems like that they were kind of covering each other, but yet. And the she, kid in the house knows she something. She also too. did a lot of cagey things that didn't seem right either. So I mean, she she showed up at the scene of the crime, where she, she jumps out of the car before you can see him. She kind of jumps out of the car and she's she her friends are driving around when she was going to look where he was and she's like, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him, you know. And and then she was able to see him in the snow before they got kind of to the place. She kind of gets out before you would have been able to see him. Oh, and a snow truck, uh, the guy who clears the snow, what's the snow? Snow plow, yeah. Yeah, he goes down the road and he's like, no, there was no body there. Because he my wife been thinks, the my wife thinks My wife thinks the snow plow guy hit him. No. That he, he, he got hit, no, he got hit. By her, how would he be out? How would the snowplow driver have hit him? That was no, because here's what here's what happened. The the theory is, she hit him enough to knock him out, but going backwards would not throw him thirty feet. No, so he just fell right there, unconscious. The snowplow came by and flung him thirty feet, and that's where the scrapes are. Or it's the dog that bit his arms. But the fact that they got rid of the dog, and they said it's up in Maine somewhere. I mean, Vermont, rather, they can't get it back to measure the teeth marks. They can't. What? What's something's wrong. They, they, they sold the house already. They destroyed cell phones. Some of these. Cops. Oh, and, but there was no DNA, dog DNA. There was pig DNA. That's even weirder. Pig. pig. Well, they think that dogs have pig chew, chew toys sometimes. Oh. But there was no dog DNA on him. And they've had two experts that say that those are dog bites on this guy. And if she hit him with a car or if the snowplow person hit him with a car, there's no bruising on him. The whole thing is like space aliens could have come and just, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a cover so up. bizarre. It's the a cover up. I think she, I think she tapped him and he went in the house and they beat him up. That's what I think happened. She tapped him by accident because he was going in the house and he was supposedly trying to meet another girl that he was oh, flirting with. Oh, come on. The they can't both, it can't both be right. No, she she hit him lightly, I'm thinking, and he just w- went into the house anyway. And then they beat him up because the woman that he was flirting with at the bar didn't want him or something like that. Because it was something, she was really, really angry about. Well, she was him. She was like that. You know who she reminded me of? of uh, uh, who was that famous uh, actor who just had a trial? Johnny Depp. She was like Amber Heard. Yeah, yeah. She was flipping out, calling him all kinds of names and text messages after he was supposedly dead. She kept texting him saying all these nasty things. And then she was flirting with that other cop. and Yeah, and he was flirting with some girl and they were fighting about it. Oh, it was just, you guys, it is the stupidest, craziest like it's, scenarios it's, it's, you don't even can't even, I, I mean, I'm like, what the heck is going it'll, on? It'll be here? a TV movie someday. It will be a TV. I don't movie. think they're going to get a solution. I don't think they're going to be able to find any way of, because there's no way of knowing. While, while we were at the waterfall at the back deck, there's a, we actually were able to bring the dog up there. Two reporters from the Boston Globe approached us and they said, you guys from Canton? They wanted to know what the, um, how this trial has affected everyday people who live in the area with the traffic jams. And the, I said, no, unfortunately we're from nearby, but it did affect us because we came here to this restaurant. <laughs> so we're part of, we're part of the problem, but they, they didn't want to take a quote from us. And they went inside to talk to other local people. What, what does, Oh, and there's people that are protesting. Cause they oh, yeah, there's her. hundreds there's of both whole, sides. There's a whole, like a, a, like somebody's been arrested. The pink, the pink and, shirts are the ones in favor. Oh my of her. god! They're it's like they a take whole, out bullets. Personality. They applaud. They were applauding her when she came in the room. And, billboards at the side of the highway. Free Karen Reed with her face on it. There's so and there's a guy named Turtle Boy. He's a sports blogger or something. He got arrested for protesting too hard. He did something. He crossed the line and they roped something off. I don't think she can trouble. get a trial. 
I really don't. I don't think. I, I don't way. know they, if they have to do it all over again. The prosecutor, the main prosecutor from the state police, has lost his job. They got they. they there's put more him investigations on going on too with the police because he did something very inappropriate with all those. So, texts. so the woman I watch is a lawyer, Harvard Harvard lawyer Lee. That's the only one I watch, and it's only on like three days a week. So it's, but she does a pretty damn good job, and she her opinion was that Karen Reed hit him. And then the police framed her for even for, so it's both like yeah, so what right. they did is she did she killed him well she she hit him but then the police came in and said we need more evidence against her and and fabricated evidence to make it more obvious she was guilty so and if she did kill him it was she was drunk and she was backing up too fast to hit him on purpose so it it's like legitimately murder, but it wasn't premeditated. Yeah, I can't even imagine the amount of money they spent really, on really this for something that was probably just like I if you take the alcohol out of it, like you would say it was just manslaughter kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna watch Court TV, Vinny Vinny Politan. Yeah, I don't want to watch any of that stuff because it's just it'll get you. There's so much going on. Like it, the, when uh, it was Michelle live, Capone's trial. I followed that. That was. Nuts too. When, right. when it was live, my wife was watching it every day. When I came home from work one day, yeah. early, her she's glued to the thing and she's really into it. It's like I try not to shit. do anything that could be addicting like that because I'll I'll just get too obsessed with it. So the big joke I posted this on Facebook. It said, "My wife took me to the waterfall. Should I be worried?" <laughs> Only if you get drunk and you drive in the street. <laughs> but Very anyway, so it, yeah, I'm glad was I got a chance it was to talk a really to you about good it. Place. What is so? What do people think? Um. We think she, I think she hit him, but I think there was, he staggered into the party and they beat the living shit out of him. And I think the teenage son knows something and he's been told by his parents not to say anything. The fact that they got rid of some of their cell phones, they changed some floors, some carpet, and they sold the house, destroyed the cell phones. There's way too much evidence that makes them look like they're covering something up. So it's a hung jury, then... They'll have to come up with a new evidence. And then there was one guy talking about they were able to trace his cell phone and see that he was possibly in the house, but they can't get it that exact. What they need to do is confiscate all the cell phones of all the people to see if any of them came outside during the thing, all the people. But they weren't being charged. They didn't even go inside. The police didn't go inside and investigate. Investigate the house at all. And they also didn't. And they uh, sold the house already. And they didn't do, there was a lot of things that were so bad. They didn't. Family house for over 50 years. Oh, there's a video missing. There's a, uh, like a, yeah. yeah, like they've got her, they got her backing out and hitting her boyfriend's car when she's backing out. They've got a camera of that. You could sort of see it hit. You don't know how much of the tail Yeah, and they said that's when she broke the tail light. But there was him. all sorts of other footage that's missing. It's like, how, how, how can you not know this? Oh, and then his, the guy who's, um. The guy who's dead, John, his his phone recorded him walking up steps. And they're like, there's no steps he's walking up unless he goes inside the building. Right. That's what like, they she hit him, him, there's no he steps. Around. He's dead. He's laying there. How come his phone is still recording him taking steps? There's oh, it's so bizarre. Anyway. You couldn't anyway. write it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I think the police investigation was so awful that they Everybody shouldn't have even taken the, the, they the shouldn't have even taken this this case because it's not the the investigation wasn't done right. It wasn't done well and there's too much corruption. They should have just forget gotten not the one be, the one before this we watched was the Murdoch case. Oops, oh yeah, I watched it. that. That was good because he would have got away that. with it had his son not recorded it on his cell phone. Yeah. And basically he, Proved that he was at the scene when he said he wasn't he, there. He, his son was making a video that was of, really cool. of a dog. He's like, he's recording a video. He's the, the, um, he was trying to call his friend and, and the call wouldn't go through. So he made a, like a quick video, like, uh, like the call won't go through. So here's the video of the dog that I'm supposed to be showing you. And he recorded that. And in the background, the dad, you could hear the dad talking. Voice, like, yep. Yeah. You could hear the dad saying something. And then the, he he stops making the video, and then the dad comes and kills his son, and his wife. And then and, the, then he said he wasn't there. And he says I wasn't there. I was taking a nap in the house. And then, in the 
in the in Smoking the trial, gun video. they're like, that is your voice on that video. And they got all these people to say, yeah, that's your voice. He's like, yeah, you're right. It was. It was me. I was there. But I got back to the house and then he was killed. It's like, uh -huh. that was that you was the smoking. That was there. the best smoking gun from a victim so on his, his son, cell phone. His son. Yeah, that was amazing. And, yeah. He would not have been found guilty. All these people have money. All these people have tons of money. Power. Because there was just local local people that were very powerful. Anyway, I think everybody's falling asleep. Yep. So it's just Watch you and me finding this interesting. It gets, it gets you addicted. <laughs> or TV. My wife's been into it. And now she's got me hooked on it. Or TV. Oh. I, I'm, I'm going to wait till it shows up on MSNBC. Uh, well, it's fascinating. On, on the weekends. Yeah, well, I don't like, um, I don't follow the court TV stuff. I'm I'm interested in the court dynamics of it. I like the law and all that stuff. I'm not interested in anything that happens outside of it. Like, you know, what the people are doing in real life. And I don't want to, I just, I'm interested in how they try a case like that. I like the lawyering angle of it. So I don't really follow it too much. But anyway, good night, good everybody. Night. Thank you for being with us for game good number 222 and all those people who are still following and watching this video. The Come thousands on, get, a life. get a life. Get a life. It's not that interesting. You don't need to you, you, Yeah, could have shut, shut us down, you know, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, come on, people. Just get a Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Good night, good night everybody. Thanks, Phil. Good team. <laughs>